Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by Indeed, Iboda, Viore, and Electric E-Bikes. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Bargatze, uh, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber. Dusty Slick. All right. We're here. We're doing, doing it. Pre recorded one, just in case. Mm -hmm. Just in case what? I just always say it. I like everybody <laughs> to be in on the know. Mm -hmm. You know? Let people know something <clears throat> could go down. Yeah, I mean, just in stuff case. could change. Yeah. yeah if, I, if I died this weekend, how quickly would you replace me on this podcast? I mean, I already got a guy waiting. So. <laughs> You don't even take a week off. I'd get him. No, he already is there. Oh. So it would, I would, like I would tell him. It's more about like, when is he going to pass away? I would say two weeks. I'd go, give it, i go. <laughs> I told him, give it two weeks. i go, yeah. you know, and then we're. Two week know. notice. You'll call him, he'll say, he'll say, so Bates is out. You're like, no, I actually was Aaron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. No, he goes. It's a yeah. young guy. Uh, no. No, it would, we could never replace you. We would. Uh, just do it without you, not miss a beat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but I think it's like if you know, I don't know. I just like people know that's been pretty. You know, because what if it's something crazy in the news or crazy like, you know, something happened that you're like, I can't believe they're not addressing this. Mm -hmm. Well, this comes out the week of September 11th, so okay, there you go. Well, that okay, yeah. Guy that planned it <laughs> already has a idea. Uh, yeah, people don't remember nine eleven. They're supposed to. They're, supposed They're never to. supposed to forget. But kids, they just don't. You know. But it's like you know. I know it's very serious. But it's like every year. It's like feel like people got to like share stories and they got to end. It's like the same. You know, it's the same story. They're sharing. They're like, this is, I was in my classroom and I found out about it. And well, that's a pretty weak yeah. story. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I like the actual ones of people that save people. Yeah. yeah if the yeah. story is, I heard no, about it. No, if that's you were a tough one. actually connected to it and involved. Right. I, yeah. You're good to share your story the rest of your life. But everybody kind of likes to talk about where they were. I know. Big things. But that's how big of a thing it was. Yeah. How many things have happened in y'all's life where you remember where you were? You remember when you found out about it? How many? Do you, I think there's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he goes, yeah. He goes, what a, uh, Lincoln, JFK. Lincoln. <laughs> I think the better question might be, what was the first like news event you remember? Yeah, when you were? well, 9 for me. It's not even. I'm, I don't even think anything happened before that. Uh, in my life. I would remember Princess Die. Princess Die. That's Oklahoma City one. bombing. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know if I could tell you where I was at. I remember that, but oh, I don't no. know if I could tell you where I was at. Princess Die, I could tell you where I was at. And then uh, the shuttle <laughs> launch, I mean, I imagine, but I think I was in kindergarten and first grade, so I don't really remember if, you know. You were seven when that happened. Yeah. So I don't remember. Everybody's like, oh, we, they, we went in and we watched it on TV. You probably covered it. And <laughs> at Channel 5. <laughs> yeah. Brian. Were you watching that live, Brian? I was. No, yeah. I was at, it was a snow day. Um, so we were out of school snowbird and <laughs> wasn't that yeah. snowbird was around then. Yeah. yeah. Still around. I think. Is he? I don't know. I think he, he got laid be. off. No. Uh, Who's snowbird. It's the mascot for channel four oh. news. So, oh, okay. It was like, always fun you. when he came out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, I think I was over at my cousin's house and, and, uh, her mom came in and said, come in here. Something just happened. So I don't think I saw it live. I think I saw right after. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, Snowbird looks like a mascot that uh, that would not be around these days anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know what I well, mean? It looks like a canceled mascot. Yeah, it's a it's a, ping, a penguin. Why? Oh, from that angle, it just looks a little... It's a penguin. Okay. No, because, yeah. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a good uh, probably stand up on your own. It's mascot. a bad looking mascot. Like uh -huh. they should, they, they, they did too much white in the, the middle. Right. Like they should have had a little more like it's cause it's really is more of a circle. Kinda. It's not oh. obvious. It's a penguin from this angle. 
Yes. It looks like they combined yeah. Big Bird and Elmo together <laughs> and then messed up the colors. So right. that was their that was their guy. For Snow Channel Bird. Four. Now I work for four. Channel Five, but yeah. So you, hate, you hated Snowbird. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well. So Bates grew up wanting to be. We had Newshound. Snowbird. Newshound? Yeah. Newshound five. Newshound. All right. Not as big as Snowbird. Snowbird was all the rage. The Ronald McDonald of, mm -hmm. of Nashville. Can't wait mm -hmm. to see Newshound. Newshound. They don't even have pictures of <laughs> I got a Newshound phone somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't last. Newshound phone? Mm-hmm. Like a, it, like a house phone? Mm -hmm. It was like a little stand. In, in yeah. The, oh, here's news. New sound right. looks nice. Is it, oh, yeah, you have that phone. Does it bark when people call? They go, roof, roof, roof. I'll be honest with you, no one answers it much because people don't listen to news like they did. Yeah. So uh, it's not ringing. <laughs> Let's just say it's not ringing. No. Uh, I think I, I bet there's a big, I bet your local news is going to, could slowly make a strong. You think? Yep. Strong what? If they come Return. back. Return. If I they went and did their own, if they went and did their truly, like just separate themselves from whatever the channel they're on and just be like, we're for you. And then really. Is it like Clear Channel though with radio where like, you know, Clear Channel seems to like own all the radio stations so they control what the content is. Is it a news organization? Because you know that, that that clip, everybody shared the clip where it seemed like all these local news organizations were saying the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Yeah. They're all reading the same. Yeah. yeah. Saying like that's got to stop. Yeah. So the first person that doesn't do that would bring local news back. Yeah. The first channel that would let them do that. We should just start a uh, like a local news thing. We'll just like mm -hmm. Nate Land News. Yeah. You know, because there they have. Go. Nash Nash Severe Weather X, the Twitter app. Yeah, yeah they're And great. it's like, I go to that before I go to the Weather Channel every time. Always. Yeah. Always. I mean, I don't never go to the Weather I'm a Channel. Patreon supporter. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Appreciate well, this. Well, guy. you should. Yeah, the Weather Channel is not going to help you with local news. Well, you know what I mean. Anything to get, you know, the local weather. weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that Nashville Severe one is probably, it's more up to date. But that's it. Do you have to have Twitter for it? I think you can go to YouTube. They put it on. Uh, uh, they live stream on everything, but Twitter is where they post constant updates yeah. for stuff. See, that's the thing is like, <clears throat> you want to go, I wish they could, you could, you know, you almost wish everybody had an app, I guess. I guess maybe, not, you know, I would, I would say that then I'd go back to, I wish they would make something that where everybody could just comment on the, <laughs> that's yeah. what I would, yeah. I got 50 apps and I got, you want to tell you what they should come up with <laughs> in 20 years. I say this. Yeah thing where everybody just one app one app and all of you can talk on that just have accounts that's where it. we'd be if i yeah. ran the world we'd be back right back to twitter in 20 <laughs> years right now i'd be like it's a lot now yeah but i i uh, think local news does basically just do its own thing there was one company that owned a lot of stations and they would send down but when i worked at tv news that nobody was telling us what to say yeah well you know you're, that was a different you don't time. know what you're talking about uh, <laughs> you, you don't know what we're talking about. I said you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. I was hoping <laughs> the guy who worked in <laughs> that's what he, for twenty years. That was the joke. That's yeah. called yeah, it's comedy. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'll write it down. And spell it for you. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read it. Well, uh, in our case, C O M E D A Y, <laughs> comedy. <laughs> that's how. Hold on, underline it in case you're not getting it. Com Double underline. The, the it. funny joke would have been for us never to go to you. About the channel, yeah. I was, you minutes. have the real expertise, so you have the editorial control over yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's well, y'all weren't going to me, so I thought, well, before we move on, maybe uh, I should mention. Kind of. Right. I know. Then I noticed. You should kind have of framed it, it like was. news. Let's yeah. go to Brian. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. you stack the paper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's written on the anchor? Do they actually have stuff on the paper right there, or is it more of a prop? No, they're scripts in case the teleprompter goes down. Oh, it's a backup for the teleprompter. Yeah. That's all it is. But I think yeah. back then. But they stack it like they're looking at number you know what i mean i think back then it was individual more than it is now i agree with you like your day it would have been that's when local news was on the the top that was all it was was local news like a regular news station couldn't do it and then now it's like the other big news stations came along and so then the local news are like well we just got to do what they're doing and that's the problem you should be doing your own thing mm -hmm. yeah I don't know why you feel that way. 
I think everybody feels that way. You feel that way? Yeah, I mean, I think it would be nice if, you know, you were getting local news and 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 just, I don't know, better stuff. I just feel like I mean, whenever just, you watch the news, it's just like, you know, one or two little stories here and there. It's like, give us some heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I think there should be, we could do, we we'll do a Nate Land News and have a Dusty segment to go. You know, yeah. just to be, people can go like, hey. You can go listen to this. You not go listen to this. Yeah, we're not. We're in our. We're just doing a bit. Yeah, you know, we're talking. Yeah. 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 I would say you could do it in the news just to go like what he says. I just like having a different thought out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's going to say. Yeah, deliver the news, and yeah. then you could go to me for another take. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Dusty for his take, and you're like, you don't want. You what if you just one take is you just going? I wouldn't come to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you not for this one. Not for this. Not one. for this one. Yeah, and we go. All right. Uh, that was Dusty over there for his take. Uh, we're not gonna do him tonight. Uh, <laughs> next up, I'm gonna go to Brian. Yeah, I'm the one that was on the news. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we like to have fun here. Yeah, we're having a good time. We are having a good time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, out of the gate. Feels like we haven't even started recording. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so what we were, it doesn't matter where we were because we were, it's pre recorded. I was in North Charleston. How'd it go? Great. Call me at the Sparrow. Good crowd. Thanks for everybody coming out. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Did you see out? anybody that knew I me did. in there from Charleston? Uh yeah, what, are you trying to what was that? Yeah, I, was just, I was just doing it too. <laughs> but you weren't even really stretching. No, yeah, no, that was a weak attempt. You didn't. Want. I don't, you weren't even yeah. thinking about it. I you didn't. Just, want like, it. I just seemed yeah. like you guys were doing it, and mm -hmm. I wanted to get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone from Hyman's came out. Oh, good. Yeah, awesome. It's cool. Sticky fingers. Yeah, <laughs> sticky fingers close. You know that? Oh, that's too bad. Oh. Really messed up that joke. That I don't do it anymore, so it's okay. But yeah. Sad day though. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? <laughs> no. You want to jump in there? Oh. Well, TMZ, let no, people know. Nothing. nothing <laughs> bad. I was in California. I was in California. Where are you at? Bakersfield. Oh, yeah. Pleasanton. When are you there? The September 5, 6? 8th and 9th. Oh. That weekend. Oh, like. Uh, Going to Yosemite too. Oh, eight, nine. Which I'm pretty oh, excited yeah. about. Never been. I was at the Greek. Wow. So you. San Diego, bigger, Tucson. Bigger show than mine? No. <laughs> uh, not for where we're at in our careers. I think you're exactly yeah. where you should be, and I'm exactly where I should be. <laughs> <laughs> They're proportional. They're proportional. Yeah. yeah, it's exactly. It's where we should be. Uh, so we're starting the comments. Evan Johnson. I've realized this is a motivational podcast. Mm. Y'all are living your dreams and having a great time doing it. So I, so I decided to take your subliminal motivational speeches and apply myself to my dreams. My birthday was on a Tuesday, and I received a phone call that, I, that I've received a firefighter slash paramedic job, my dream job. I've been working a long time for this position, and I want to celebrate with my favorite group of famous people, include brand, including Brand Flakes. <laughs> Thanks for all the laughs and motivation. Wow. Thank you. That's Congrats time, to you, man. Evan. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't understand. He got it. I don't understand what happened. He got a. He's a firefighter. He got his dream paramedic. job after it's seeing us job. pursue our dream. Oh, job. okay. He decided to take our motivational speeches and applied himself to his dreams. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he I, went and got the job he wanted. Yeah. All right. I thought somehow he was like subliminally trying to channel his dreams, and then all of a sudden he got a phone call, <laughs> and they were like, "You're a firefighter now." Yeah. And he's <laughs> like, Ugh. "I didn't even apply for this." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Evan might not have applied for this, and so let's hope Evan is a legit. He got firefighter. drafted. To yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're very excited yeah. for Evan, but there's yeah. a chance if you see Evan at your fire, you might be like, "Oh boy, uh, <laughs> I know who this guy is," and yeah. he. <laughs> did not do training he just likes it. he just dreamed it up he just dreamed it up and he's if you see one guy running with one bucket back and forth from the truck that's evan and they go evan we got a hose and he and evan just and goes, he goes this is what i've always dreamed and he just always and he just does it and then he's like cutting shirts off and they're like that guy's not even hurt and he's like <laughs> pair me he's doing both <laughs> 
He's like, this yeah. is my drink. He's Don't doing tell the me. clear yeah. stuff. Dude. He's I'm, doing the clear to go. I'm Evan, fine. <laughs> Evan, Evan, you're not. <laughs> That's a we. Congrats, Evan. But we do hope it's like that. Yeah, we do. That's very fun. Good for you, man. Because I thought yeah. those were two different jobs. Firefighter. No, I think I think paramedic. I think paramedic goes with it. if you're if you're got a fire any kind of like that paramedic kind of wrapped up in there. They're in cahoots. And there's only okay. so many people. If you're a firefighter, I mean they can't. Where are you going to put a paramedic? You don't just have a guy on the. You need someone that's like do both. Yeah. You know, you know like when you go to war, they have a medic. Well, that's also a soldier. I mean, they're not just throwing a real doctor out there and like <laughs> he's just got a stethoscope <laughs> and the scrubs just running behind the <laughs> yeah in the the lines behind the guy just being like, I don't know if I should be out here. And they go, yeah, but it's going to get ugly and we might need you to do major surgery on the ground. And you need to be ready. You need to be ready. Well, does a firefighter drop? But everybody can see me because of my blue gown I got on. <laughs> oh, scrubs, yeah. My scrubs. And he goes, they don't got a back to them. <laughs> they go, <laughs> he goes, so it's very uncomfortable when I sit down. And they go, yeah. I mean, this is, this is you, you wanted to be a doctor. This is, you're you a doctor. You dreamed it up. You dreamed it up. <laughs> so a paramedic, do they drive the ambulance? One of them does. I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you would have. But I think, yeah, I think his job is to like, I think I could do that as a paramedic. I'd be like, let me drive the ambulance. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if I want to be back in the weeds of it. Yeah, that would be fun to just drive. Mm -hmm. It's unclear what exactly this position is. He might just fix the vehicles for these two. You know what I mean? No, he's he, no, no one's going to. He's a fire. No one says fire. I received a firefighter slash paramedic job. That could mean you know you work dispatch or something. Why would you? <laughs> no one saying. would word it like that. <laughs> Why no you crush be, his dreams? Yeah. No, like, I'm not uh, crushing this dream. I received a, I'm trying to expand our idea of what his dream is to accommodate whatever he, it happened. I received a job of uh, being a police officer. Oh my gosh, dude. So you're a police officer? I work the uh, I'm in the front when you come in. <laughs> one that doesn't get a gun. You're like, so you're not a police officer. You're, no, 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 I no. work for the police. Uh, the, the that's police. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly right. No, yeah. that's he's a I'm firefighter. I'm involved in policing. He's a firefighter and okay. he's even better at everything that he's he probably threw in. I'll be a paramedic too. Just because he could. He goes. And that's probably what sent him over the top. Just set resumes down. And, and indeed. Is that on? Yeah. Go ahead. That's wow. Embarrassing. That was yeah. well done, dude. Mm. Finding great talent doesn't have to be a second job. You can hire faster and better with Indeed. You just need to breathe, take it easy, keep it simple. If you're hiring, you need Indeed. Here's why. I'm going to rattle these off real quick. We've all heard them before, but they're worth reiterating. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Stop spending hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. Hate waiting? Of course you do. Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description when the moment they sponsor a job. One of the things we love about Indeed we talk about all the time is it all happens in one place. You know, stop opening all these tabs on your browser. Don't have multiple windows open. Do it all under one roof. And that roof is indeed. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash Nate. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash Nate. Indeed.com slash Nate. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need indeed. Mm. Ah, That's still the best. That. Miles ahead. Miles ahead. Miles. Well, Kilometers. Well, yeah, you couldn't do that laugh though. Could you do that laugh? When you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Hey. <laughs> Zachary Zern. <laughs> 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 Back at episode 100, I told my wife I wasn't sure about this Dusty character. Now, just this week, I told her I'm not totally sold on the moon landing anymore. Boom. Clearly, I'm having a good time. There you go. Boom. Now, that's what I'm talking about. All it takes about. is one. We're planting seeds out here. Yep. All you got to do you is You went from watch not being raided by the government to probably being <laughs> raided by the government. Yeah, but if enough of us join forces... It'll be it'll be better. Zachary, you think it's an uh, alias too. you think you're not joining forces because you guys don't talk about it enough. <laughs> well, that's probably it. Yeah, we do. We should try to get it out there more. You know, yeah. any, any chance I get, people are looking at the yeah. moon. I go, 
pretty up there, but we never landed yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who was it this weekend? Was it Russia that sent a capsule there and it crashed into the moon? Oh, I didn't see that. I think it was Russia. Yeah, oh. it's pretty far away. They missed the landing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, they we hit it, it, but they why is Russia worried about the moon right now? I don't know. Maybe it wasn't Russia. I feel like it was Russia. Yeah, I feel like they're, they're I spinning don't, a lot of plates at I, the moment. Yeah. <laughs> they're trying to get to the moon. I think chances are yeah. they just said, hey, we crashed on the moon. This is Dusty's new segment. Yeah. yeah. What and if they go uh, to Putin? They go, we sent something to the moon. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, who are you? He goes, we're like your, we're your NASA. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Is it what do they call them? They go. Uh, they're called cosmonauts. I don't know what the the organization's called. Who oh, even knows that, that answer? Yeah. You, oh, I knew that. You know, yeah. You knew that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yuri Gagarin. Well, you covered it probably the <laughs> space race. <laughs> <laughs> You're interning that for Walter again? Cronkite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that joke good was earlier and still relevant today. <laughs> it was good five minutes ago. Yeah. Still good. <laughs> uh, Red Griffin. Reg, Reg, probably Reg, yeah. Reg Griffin, I like that better than Reginald. Reg. Yeah, I did not like Reg Griffin. <laughs> yeah, Reg Griffin, it's a bit much. That's a like, yeah, <laughs> I did not care for that. <laughs> and then Reg Griffin, I was like, that sounds. I actually like that guy. Old Reg, <laughs> Reg Griffin on the Reg. Yeah, on the reg. regular. <laughs> Aaron, how were you the first to get? to that xylophone iPhone joke. It's genius. Oh, Do you register something like that once you find it? Big fan in Atlanta. Hmm. I don't know. I'm maybe not the first guy to talk about that ringtone. To talk about playing the xylophone and that they're the ringtone yeah. is a xylophone. That's the oh, only, that's all you got. That's the only xylophone yeah. Yeah, I anybody think, knows. Uh, you are the only one. Well, <clears throat> the stress of having that sound effect pulled up on my phone in my pocket Mm-hmm. was a lot to deal with and i'm yeah. glad i i'm glad i haven't had to deal with it for a while uh because there were Z- shows i took my phone out and i had accidentally x'd out of oh, yeah. where you click the set and i quickly have to go to it yeah and that's that's not fun yeah that's a real timing yeah. joke yes like it needs to hit yeah. you almost want a sound cue mm-hmm. from the booth yeah then you gotta trust them. Then you get you just go. All we had was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you just point to the sky. And yeah, he goes, and then everybody just roars. Yeah, they lose. Your dad it. had a sound cue other night that was a little little off. Yeah, that bowling ball joke. Oh yeah, his get off. So, <laughs> so he hadn't even dropped it yet. You already hear like yeah. going down the lane. Yeah, yeah. It's funnier that way. Yeah, yeah. He his sometimes we've had it. We had it messed up because his he'll do it on his belt. Uh, and uh, sometimes it doesn't click. So I mean, we've had it. I well, mean, that's been, real magic, though. If it, if it if that ball is rolling, you hear the ball rolling, and it's not rolling it rolls. Yet, yeah, that's yeah. magic. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Regular Griffin. Uh, <laughs> you know, I went to high school with a kid named Random. Oh, really? Uh, Random, Random Giles. Oh, he's a nice kid, but I've, I've never Would met you him. Ran? No, he'd go by Random. Random Giles. <laughs> that's a yeah, great like, last name. Giles. Yeah. How do you feel about Random? In conversation, you're like, that's that last random. name's so good. Yeah. And it, that last name's so good that you kind of forget about the first name being random. Uh-huh. He goes, I'm Random Giles. And you're like, nice That to is meet random. You. You, yeah, you're like, Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm regular Griff. <laughs> it's regular Griff. Regular and random Griffin. Giles. Yes. Regular and random. I go by regular. Uh, Reg and Rand. But he's saying, Do you register something like, you somebody like register a joke? Uh, you don't register no, jokes. No, you, you just don't. do them. And register then, Griffin. <laughs> Register, Griffin. Register. Yeah. 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 Uh, Josh Stringer. Thinking about accents and pronunciations, breakfast always pronounces 70 with an M and D in the middle. 70. 70? 70. 70. 70. I don't, I hear 70. the, I certainly hear the D. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. 70 years old. Uh, <laughs> And in the middle, I used to be, my name's Brian Bates, I used to be 70 years old. Instead of three <laughs> syllable, 70, he rolls with two syllables, 70. And 70. 70. And 70. I can't figure out phonetically type out how he says point. That's the Lebanon accent for you. Now you say point, probably point. 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 Let me point to that. Yeah. yeah. Point. I don't, know, I don't know how I'd spell that either. Yeah. 70. Well, how, say it correctly. Point. Point. 
and I point to something. What point. The? No, you're no. You're, okay, you're, now see, now you're in my head. Yeah. I pointed out. <laughs> that was, was that it? A point. point, a point I pointed out. out. Do P- I say right? P O H P O H N T. Pwn it out. <laughs> Pwn it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like foghorn leghorn. Yeah. <laughs> Pwn it out. <laughs> You way. say he started laughing. <laughs> he, he's like he started getting himself going a little bit before <laughs> the rest of us, huh? Uh, <clears throat> w e apostrophe l l. W e apostrophe will. Okay. We'll be right back. Yeah. You mm-hmm. Usually say we're. We're. Oh yeah, I'll say we'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one. That's crazy. Yeah, we I all got stuff. Of, yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I have a joke now where I say the word wolf probably about. 35 times and i and uh your buddy thought i that have dog, to really dog was a wolf <laughs> no, yeah <laughs> uh but i think about it i mean i focus on it the whole bit because mm. i've been called out on this podcast that i i say wolf wolf oh, instead yeah. of wolf wolf i had a joke where i was saying talking about deer meat <laughs> venison um, and i was saying venison what are you eating by the way and uh, well it's it's for heartburn oh. and uh <laughs> So I would. Uh, You're the sorry. real deal, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said I would say I would say venison, and I said it for you know in front of thousands of people. I did many shows. Finally, somebody messaged me on Instagram, and they were like, "Are you saying venison with a hard T at the end?" Like innocent with a V in front of yeah. it. Yeah, and I was like, "Wow, I guess I am." I had no idea. Venison. Venison. Not venison. It's venison. Venison, not yeah. venison. There's a lot of words that I just found out within the last few years that they're not pronounced the same. Like, like what? Like pitcher, like a baseball pitcher and picture. <laughs> I always say oh, the yeah. same. Yeah. Oh, that's a picture frame. Yeah. A pitcher frame. P- yeah, I would say that's a picture frame. Pitcher yeah. of water. Pitcher, baseball pitcher. Well, pitcher. those are the same words. Well, the. <laughs> The the <laughs> mammal that lives in the water, and a whale, the, yeah, and the thing you draw water from, whale. whale. To me, that's the same. I would say that. <clears throat> I'd say both those are well. I, there's uh, a well out there, and the well. Okay. There's a well in. <laughs> I looked down the well okay. and saw a well, and it's doing. Well. I would say it like that, mm-hmm. and it's doing. <laughs> I yeah. I would pronounce that as the same. You thought they were spelled the same? You know, no, I thought they were pronounced the same. And, oh, well, that, that's southern homophones. that we pronounce them the same. Uh, Picture and picture is that's cra- that's the crazy one. Okay, that doesn't make sense. But you guys were just getting those, so uh, <laughs> I see a theme going for this. Episode. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mean to, but it's, <laughs> you know, I don't know if it was even decided what you were going to call. It. <laughs> it's so new. What if it's a, a a picture of a picture? That'd be tough. Uh, that'd, that'd be, be tough. tough huh? That'd be yeah. harder. <laughs> pitcher and pitcher. That's a pitcher and pitcher. Pitcher and pitcher. Pitcher and pitcher. Pitcher of a pitcher. Uh, Michael McCarver. When Jesus did carpentry, do you think he ever cut a piece of wood, wood too short? I think it gives interesting insight into what people think perfect actually means. Mm. So this is. He, I don't think so. He gave. He wrote this in after a couple weeks ago. I mentioned how I'm now watching uh, The Chosen. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And how it was a little hard to me get into it at first because they had backstories that weren't in the Bible and they really <clears throat> humanized Jesus. Yeah. So he's just asking, what does that mean? And I don't know. I'd say he's perfect in the sense that he was sinless. But as far as everyday life, do you ever miss a free throw? I don't know. Yeah. That what wouldn't that be mean? a sin. I don't yeah. think he right. cut wood too short, though. I bet he measured twice and cut once. Uh, did, are we saying he cut a piece of wood too short to uh, make a point? To, to, to lie to his customers, cheating them off a little. No, I think he just means words. a mistake. Well, did he have a? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he had a business, right? You know. Well, I think he had to have had some kind. I of, think he was like a carpenter. I don't know if it, yeah, it was Jesus Christ I, carpentry. Yeah, I don't think he LLC. was. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't. Th- yeah, I don't think. Well, I, know, I think it was. Yeah. I think it was very brief, very loose, very. You know, it was like the, it was like a job. I don't think he. You know, Jesus is like, yeah, I mean, I worked 15 years as a carpenter. I think he boat. was. I mean, I think it was if you the timeline was that long. He was a carpenter. He was now. grinding it out for that long. I mean, when did his when did he start hitting the road doing shows? 30 in his 30s. Right. So he was 30. Yeah. Yeah. 
So his dad was a carpenter, so he could have been a family business. Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... I'm, so I'm what saying, did he do? What were his 20s like? That, he was, that, he that, was cutting yeah. wood. He was cutting wood. Like, he could have been helping his dad build stuff and, like, you know. Yeah, I could see that. You're right. But, I, I mean, I, I meant, like, I don't think it's, like... It's more word of mouth. Yeah, grinding it out. Like, it's, you know, it's like, he's a carpenter, and his dad's a carpenter, and... He's the guy there yeah. that can do carpentry stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's his, his dad's... Step, his stepdad. It's his... Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's his shop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We don't need to get into the weeds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's an interesting family dynamic, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Paul Johnson... We are moving from Wyoming to Murfreesboro. <laughs> Boy. Manifest destiny. Huh? Yeah. And we had a garage sale today. I'm a little weird around people, and I think I said, all right. And we're having a good time about 100 times today to folks in Dusty's voice. And so my wife said, what is wrong with you? <laughs> she doesn't listen to the podcast, so I couldn't really explain it to her. But we <laughs> made almost enough to tip the movers. So I'm sticking with it. All right. For the whole experience. Hope to see you guys in town when we get there. Well, welcome to Murfreesboro. All right. There it is. We're having a good time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're welcome to the Johnson. Yeah. I mean, that's great. I mean, my wife asked me that same question, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, you'll be easy to look up in the yellow pages. <laughs> Paul Johnson. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Well, no. Who's coming up next? Yeah, no, Tyler Johnson. His brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, oh. They're getting in there. Hmm, the Johnsons. I work at Dugway Proving Ground. You, uh, I work at Dugway Proving Ground, Utah, Utah, training our nation's finest. That's a tough sentence. I work at Dugway Proving Ground. Is that a city? Maybe Dugway Proving Ground is a city. Utah. He called U it. I also called it Area Fifty Two. Oh, Utah it's an Army nation. facility to test biological and chemical weapons. Okay. Uh, I spent a lot of time in my truck and off listening to the sports radio. Who else but our Ann Weber jumped on for an interview and did hey. great. At the end of the show, they were giving away two rounds of golf to whoever could answer the question, where did comedian Aaron Weber go to college? <laughs> Needless to say, I got through and won the golf rounds. Oh, All right. How about that? It's at Michigan wow. State. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was very nice. He also invited you to come play with him. Oh, did he really? There. Yeah. So, oh, nice. I'm out. I'm out there in October. Ugh. Wise guys comedy be. club. Pretty exciting. Tyler, let me know what your handicap is, and I'll let you know how <laughs> that will go. Yeah. I'll let you know if you want. Tyler might want to do it. And Tyler, you might not want uh, to. I think you, maybe we'll go hang at the driving range. I think I'm that. No, one. you might be. No, oh, most he might people be, right probably are going. You know. Y'all have a good time. Y'all mm -hmm. have a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, Gabriel Valk. I'm going into my 12th year of fantasy football, and I've yet to win. This year, the last place punishment is to do 10 minutes of stand-up at an open mic night. I'm worried based on my previous year's performance, I could very well be the one to come in last place. That's having to do 10 minutes of stand-up comedy, no prior experience. For something like this, what would you suggest I do? Just get up there and tell funny stories from my life, or I should try to write jokes? 10 minutes, no one's going to give you 10 no. minutes, but it's, uh, so yeah. you don't worry about it. You won't have to do 10 minutes. Typical open mic is four or five minutes. Yeah. So that's all you're going to do. And just start doing it now in preparation for losing fantasy mm -hmm. football. And then by the time your friends come and see you do your five minutes, you'll be crushing it. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, whoa, you should have been doing this all along. And you're like, yeah, it's my first time. Yeah. Now I heard that yeah. you recently went to open mic and took your brother-in-law from China and he signed up and did the open mic? Yeah. The I mean, first time? What is this? Well, <laughs> we're just going to skip over a brother-in-law from China? <laughs> well, my, my, my wife, her brother lives in China, in okay. Beijing. So he visited. And he's from China? He's from Canada. He's from Canada, but he lives in China. Grew up there. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. He, I mean, he lives there for like his work. Yeah. I, you, the way you said it yeah. made him sound Chinese. Yeah. You're, you, like, well, you're, I mean, you're Chinese you go, brother. Well, <laughs> uh, Aaron, let's go to Dusty real fast. He's got a brother-in-law from China. And yeah. like, well, why, where does that come from? <laughs> I know. You know. Yeah. Now that makes sense. So he did an open mic and uh, the East Room was mm -hmm. great. We had a lot of fun. Had he ever done it before? He'd never done that room before. Well, not, I know that room, but he's ever done stand-up. Oh, he's done stand-up before. Ah, he oh, doesn't like a do it guy. a lot. He's no. just kind of hobbyist with it. Mm -hmm. But he wanted to do a mic. And at the mic, I guess it had some problems with 
uh, I don't know, people getting mad about jokes. So they announce at the beginning of the show that this is a free speech zone. So my uh, brother-in-law, who's Canadian and lives in China, goes up and basically lectures the whole mic about how I thought the whole country was a free speech zone. And then he proceeds to read the Constitution to people. <laughs> oh. And uh, they listened. Yeah. I was like, all right. You gave is, him a standing ovation? Nobody's laughing right now, but uh, <laughs> they are listening. Yeah. Were you, that, uh, sometimes that's all you can ask for. Were you reciting the words along with him? Yeah, I was off to the side giving <laughs> him a so uh, Everything he says, you were... <laughs> in, <laughs> yeah. Just mouthing the words. Yeah. yeah, I'm behind him. Like kind of those couple, there's a couple of creepy videos yeah. of like, looks like staffers wrote uh, stuff for, I don't know, politicians. Yeah. And so they're reading yeah, along yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. But they're like, one girl looks like she's been awake for four days. <laughs> yeah. And she seems to be losing it. I, yeah. I like seeing that girl though. Yeah. Because I like seeing someone into their job and that's someone that's into her job. Totally. Like, like, so I, I like take out that there's, you know, the political aspect of it. Just look at a person into their job. That's what made me like that girl. Cause yeah. it's, she doesn't, nothing exists in that mm. moment except her job, which is that speech. Yeah. And so I, I, I always kind of like, I like seeing that just cause it's like, oh, that girl is going to be, she'll yeah. go very far. Cause it's something that no, if you know how to get that into, what you do, then, and she knew it. it so well that she leaned in at one point and, and like corrected. It seemed like it's that's crazy. what happened. Yeah, it's like yeah. she really knew it. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, yeah, you're, you you got to get lucky to f f find some people like that. Because even as a comic, like I've wrote jokes with people before, and I'm standing off to the side watching them do the joke, and I'm like going along with them. And if they don't do it the right way, I'm like, ah, no, mm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you missed it. Lean mm -hmm. in, tell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh eric smith oh well, yeah so that guy you're doing less comics so yeah just tells it yeah tell uh funny stories uh <laughs> tell a funny story <laughs> the very opposite of what we said yeah. at first what do jokes well, you said write some jokes now yeah i'd start writing some jokes now so you yeah. just win by the time you if you if you got the nerve to try to go do it alone then go do it alone yeah uh and keep the joke short but i think yeah. this is a a, a bit of a misconception there. E even stories have jokes in them. Mm -hmm. You know what I yes. mean? So yes. it's not like it's an either or. A story yeah. is just... But for someone just starting, it's like, if he has a funny story, it's go tell it. I'll tell you what, if you think you have a funny story, shave about, make it a minute long. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you think that story is, I don't even, I don't even, not even hearing the story, uh -huh. I can tell you. Go ahead and take it down to one minute. Bring it down to yeah. the, like you have to tell it on an elevator. Yes. Yeah. You know? And I, I don't care. You're like, well, this one's a long one. Get it. <laughs> Do an elevator. That's great advice. Yeah. Because people drag out a story. Oh, and yeah. And we're all tuned. Well, they do out. the best part too within the first 30 seconds. Yeah. And then they, then they're just, and then they're trying to keep up with it. And you're like, well, there's nothing else behind it. Yes. So you got to just move on or pick a good team. Uh yeah yeah, yeah right. or, or get better win. at fantasy football. Um, <laughs> uh, Eric Smith. Eric Smith. So I made several comments and have yet to have any of them read on the show. I have a new conspiracy theory that Brattleboro Bates <laughs> and the boys will not read my comments because my name is too boring and easy for Nate to say. Eric Smith. True. Mm -hmm. Eric Smith. I don't feel like I've uh those two combined feel different to me. Eric Smith. I don't I don't I don't think of an Eric going with a Smith. No, me either. Yeah. Like well, so it makes it kind of different. It's like Eric <laughs> Smith. Like that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Like I was going in a completely different direction. Yeah, put a question mark at the end. <laughs> Eric Smith? Yeah. And then you now you got a unique name. <laughs> he does it, yeah, he does. Dusty Slay? Dusty yeah. Slay? Yeah. Eric Smith. No, you're gonna there's a built in question mark to this next name. Jerry Rich and Datter. <laughs> what can I answer Eric's question? Reichen. Oh, it, was, it wasn't I even a question. Forgot you were on it. Oh, right. uh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, that's not true. Okay, go ahead. What was the question about him? Not about me picking names that are hard for you and not picking easy names. But oh. just in point of fact, he there was no question in that comment. It was just it was, he was making a comment. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. real truth is that Brian will sometimes pick Eric's. 
uh, comments to read, and then we as a group decide that they're not good enough to be read. So we, <laughs> That's we, true. We eliminate that. I'll tell you what, Eric, this is the last comment you'll ever get read. That's <laughs> for sure. Okay. I have a whole system that I could break down if anyone ever cares. Maybe a side podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> well, I mean, up. do you want them to know the system? Because then they'll all try to repeat it. Yeah. But let me give you some, can I give some basics pointers? Mm -hmm. What yeah, Nate just said about the, about the joke. It's cut it down, cut it. I mean, first of all, don't try to be funny in your, if you got a funny story, by all means, share it, but don't insert a lot of jokes and all that stuff. A lot of people just like to funny it up. Mm -hmm. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. You've got a funny story, share it, try to keep it tight. I will edit it down a lot if, it, if I can to try to fit it, fit it on here. I usually start with first comments, usually a positive about last week's episode. I usually mention the title in it so Nate can remember what we talked about last week. Mm -hmm. Do that for Pretty Nate. good work right there. Mm -hmm. Second one, then we get a little funny, maybe something they didn't like about the podcast, something we got wrong. I try to find a comment <clears throat> that, about all four of us so we can all kind of get involved, comment in a little bit. And then these, like this one, where we're taping ahead of time, I got a vault of just comments that I've just been saving. So some of these might've been from six months ago that they yeah. submitted. Um, but Hey, maybe you got one out there. It's still going to, it's still going to happen. Just hadn't got them in the bank, got them in the bank. Ready to go. Good. Yeah. So your system. Got a system. Yeah. And that was the short version of explaining it. That was the short version. I got a lot more. But Is there a lot more for real? I don't look at names. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't even pay attention to names. Let's call you it just, the, bre oh, the breakfast system. That's interesting. So you don't look at names, you just read the comments. <laughs> yeah, because I don't So wanna... when some people have got on here a couple of times, they're legitimately just <laughs> have written two great comments. Yeah. What I mean, happened over here? I, <laughs> well, huh? I just said, let's call it the breakfast system. Yeah. <laughs> and that made Aaron laugh. And, yeah. And, and then, and and then here no, we one, no one else listened. So we just no, laughed. Yeah. And, <laughs> it's funny though. Yeah. Sometimes we're alone over here for yeah. you know, a minute or two and then we come back. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's fair. If someone's got a great comment, it's not fair that they don't get it read because they've yeah. already been on before. That's interesting though. That's, that's it. That is very fair. That, that yeah. I, I think it makes people that have had their comments read twice. Like, oh, like you're yeah. getting it in. Right. Like you're you're getting on your own merit. You're not getting it, you know. Yeah. I say a fun tip is if you email in all caps, that'll stand out. <laughs> right? Shut up, Aaron. <laughs> 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 That's don't, a good thing. <laughs> don't people love to DM me and don't send it every to every social media where I have to read the same one five times. Uh-huh. Just send it to one. And yeah, I'll that see gets it. you almost disqualified. If I yeah. have to read it four times before it makes it here, you're disqualified. <laughs> yeah. I'm making that rule. That's not part of the breakfast mm -hmm. system. <laughs> That's the dusty system. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty big. A lot of rules to follow. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, <laughs> Apple Podcast Reviews. I mean, they leave them on Apple Podcast Reviews? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nate Land at NateBargatzi.com. What's probably the best email? Or do you like YouTube? I think I like YouTube because... Um, Email's fine, but people tend to get long on those emails. Also, YouTube comments are public, so it's going to, you know, people are, you, you write better stuff when you think everybody has to see That's it. right. That's a good yeah. point. And it's just your handle on there now, so I can't even see your name. Like, I see the comment first mm -hmm. before I even click on it to see what your name is. Yeah. So take there that in. Uh, right. But your trick worked because you just got your comment read. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talked about it for a while, yeah. too. Uh, mm. Jerry Ruck Chanter. <laughs> Reich? Probably Reich. Reich and Dater. Reich and Dater. Maybe. Wow. I bet that's right. Jerry Reich and Dater. That's not about bad. He spells Jerry J E R I, which oh, might be a woman. Maybe. I would go that by way? J R. If I were a guy, I'd be J R. Yeah, <laughs> Jerry, and then they go. That out there. They go, come on, man, don't do Jr. What? You, give me your real name. He goes, Jerry Reichendotter, and they go, all right, Jr. <laughs> yeah. uh, growing up in Indianapolis, I remember when they built the Hoosier Dam. Don't, <laughs> don't. Uh, <laughs> the Hoosier Dam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they added a one percent sales tax to pay for it. 
That was in 1984, and it was imploded in 2008, <laughs> but we're still paying that tax. Wow. Never got it paid off. Yeah. Just still paying it. How about if you're building something and it takes 40 years to finance, don't do it. Yeah, you we're know what always, I mean? that was one. Well, but I mean, no, but it's, I don't think it took 40 years to finance. It's, no. they're just doing the tax. Yeah. And oh, then they just kept the tax. They on. just yeah. kept the tax going. Okay. Yeah. They never get rid of a tax. Yeah. All right. They just yeah. switch it to something else. Read yeah. my lips. Yeah. Yeah. They just put, yeah. yeah. Uh, have there ever been taxes taken off? Not that I'm aware. There's of. been tax cuts. Yeah. Yeah, are they really though? Are they like? <laughs> I don't. Think I think so. so. I don't think they've never been like the sales tax in this county is ten percent. Now it's nine. Mm. I would say that's never. <laughs> I was happened. thinking more like I'm sure all these stuff with I'm bills sure were lower written. taxes. But is there one that's ever gone away? Like paid off. You guys no longer have to pay right this tax. I'd both say they have never even lowered taxes. I would yeah. think that they're even if they do lower it one, they're 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 going up somewhere. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they're ever take. giving you the money back. I mean, that's like every job that's like a government job is like you got to spend all this money or we're not going to give you the exact money. So, oh, yeah. They're, we're already used to paying these taxes. So they're not going to just let us get used to paying less taxes. Hmm? Yes, I agree. Sir? No, I agree. Right. That's a good point. Uh, Jordan Pinley. Aaron, have you heard of the birthday paradox? <laughs> Would be amazing to hear you try to explain it to Nate and see if Dusty believes in it. Do you know uh, part of it? Yeah. So oh. the so if you were in a room with strangers, how many people do you think would need to be in that room for there to be a fifty percent chance that two people would share a birthday? One hundred fifty. Uh, is there an actual number? Yeah. Oh. There's an actual number, and it will surprise you how few people you need oh. for there to be a 50% well, chance. Well, you say a good number. And well, 178 would be half of, That'd be half of, the, of the calendar. Yeah. The, the, the answer is 23. Mm. If you have 23 people in a room, there's a 50% chance. I think more than 50% chance that two people will have the same birthday. Really? Even though there's 365 days. Wow. That's why it's called a paradox because it seems crazy, but uh, the math of it works out that 23 people, half the time. They'll, they'll so basically, you have a 23% chance. No. No. <laughs> That's not. No, I'm saying it's more than, with 23 people, there's more than 50% chance. But I'm saying in life, if you ever go walk around, could you say you have a 23% of meeting someone that has your birthday? No, I don't, I don't, every twenty three percent. You should have a one in twenty three chance. Of you have a more than fifty percent chance of every twenty third person you meet that you share a birthday with them. Yeah, there you go. So percentage of percentages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now I want to do a thing, a man on the street, people. where I find twenty three people and ask them what their birthday. Well, Come to my show this weekend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's going to be my new closer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needs you for the 23rd person. Yeah. 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 Let's count on Brian. Yeah. Because we had 23 people in there. The staff. Take you out of it. He goes 22. <laughs> and That's go go tickets. If a comic counted themselves, <laughs> he goes, dude, we were packed out. 100 people there. Take you out of it. 98. <laughs> <laughs> two down two. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody that was on the show. It's like, well, there's not 50 people. <laughs> 23 people. Yeah, you put them in a room. Two yeah. of them are going to have the same birthday. You have a 50% More than chance. 50% chance. But, but so it doesn't matter. It's not necessarily saying your birthday. Any two in the room so are going to share a birthday. If there's 46 people in the room, I mean, what's the percentage there? 100%, 100%. chance? It's 100% chance. Yeah, borderline 100%. It's never not happened. <laughs> wow. I want to do this. I need I to write I could find 46 down. people that don't have my birthday. Well, we got to think. We got four people at this table right now, yeah. right? So I you, got you compare chance. your birthday to Dusty. You compare your birthday to me. You compare it to Brian. That's three. All right? That's <laughs> three comparisons that are being made yeah. of birthdays. Well, then I compare mine to Dusty. I compare mine to Brian. That's two. So that's that's five already, and it's just with four people. 
So you you're have saying- 23, there's like 200 different comparisons oh, so being made. so it doesn't have to be your birthday. birthday. No, it's any two in the- oh. you, got, you need to be invited in the room. I'm sorry yeah. if, I, if <laughs> yeah. I phrased it that way, but it, among 23 people, there's a more than 50% chance that there will be a birthday shared in the group. Oh, okay. Long twenty three. Is this college? Is this a college thing? No, this is just yeah, was fun a, fun reading. Was there a movie about this? Nothing. No. What was that movie? The butterfly effect. <laughs> Kinda. A great movie. The birthday paradox. Wasn't there a movie about a number that the move the number twenty three? Yeah. With Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. But that wasn't No, that had nothing to do with this. Okay. Well, yeah, well that was like a horror movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Scary some. Yeah, there's a lot of theory about dude the i just let me tell you what i watched liar liar yeah. uh with jim carrey so good it's you could i i mean i don't know am i crazy or could he have won an oscar for that? <laughs> yeah it's so good dude it's unbelievable man i yeah. and i haven't watched that in forever and i'm going through it what he's doing like comedically yeah is when he's writing a pen yes. and he's fighting himself and where his hand is acting independently from him and yeah. you really feel like his hand is on its own. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah I mean, amazing. Could it have won? Like you just be like so. best actor, be like you. No one's doing that. Right. No yeah. one can do that. Yeah, Jim Carrey is incredible. You can't incredible. That's uh, in acting like it's it's a joke because it's the the movie and stuff, but like all the different stuff, all the. Even when he's in court and he's how quick he is, and I mean, he beats himself up in the bathroom. I'm yeah. kicking my own butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good, dude. He should have won one for Truman Show, but you're right. I mean, I think should have won what, for what Truman he Show. did in uh, in Liar Liar is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, they just wouldn't ever give it me. My, but me, if you want to go realistic, you're like, no, we're going to go straight up. You're like not even trying to be funny. Just we're saying, find me another person that could do that. Me, yeah. myself, and Irene, he, his performance is really good. That's like a weirdly dirty movie, mm -hmm. but his uh, role in that, he's, he's playing like two characters mm -hmm. the whole time. Really great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I've seen it before, but it's like, you're just watching it, and you're mm -hmm. like, golly, dude, this guy <laughs> is unbelievable. He was so great on In Living Color. I just saw a thing, a documentary about... Yeah, the Watch that on TV. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, guess, a, yeah. I'm about to go deeper here. Yeah. Um, the Super Bowl, um, like this is the mid 90s. Now the halftime show is so big. Mm -hmm. The Super Bowl used to be nothing. And they were doing like a Disney uh, uh, characters or something was the halftime show. And In Living Color went on live on an opposite channel during halftime and did a live show. And so many people turned over there. It like messed with the Super Bowl. And then the next year, Michael Jackson was the halftime entertainment. Oh, oh wow. really? Yeah. Wow. I'd never, I don't remember that. And I'd never heard that, but I just saw that oh, wow. documentary. Wow. They were the first one to say, let's compete. And everybody turned over there during halftime. And I think they had a clock so people could see they're not missing anything. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it really messed with their ratings. Yeah. To the point where from now on, it's the biggest star in the world that's doing the halftime show. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So they ever have really a comic. It's good. I think they ever have a comic do it. The halftime show? Yeah. It'd be tough. Yeah. I could do a stand up at the halftime <laughs> show. Be, that's your next career goal. Let's they, we can make it happen. What's up, everybody? What'd you do that spot? Uh, Let's say Goodell calls you tomorrow and he goes, you know, I don't know. Rihanna canceled. I don't even know who's doing <laughs> last it this minute. year. Beyonce, somebody. It would be, it, you'd probably only get it for that scenario. Mm -hmm. You'd have to have Joe. Yeah, you may do it, but it, I, it'd be one where I would have writer. I'd be like, let's get some writers oh, you and would make do very like specific topical jokes. stuff. I think, I think, that, I think for that situation to go, you have to make it about what's going on. You wouldn't do your best 15. Uh, you do your new, your new 15 you're working on. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I would like to, but it's, it's, I think out of context, it's too out of it's yeah. too out of context for them to grasp your joke or what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You could do some wife jokes, or you could do some, you know, whatever. Maybe some crowd work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a big crowd. <laughs> and then what's that? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, the guy in the green shirt. The whole <laughs> the Eagles, the Eagles. playing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the guy with the jersey at the top. 
<laughs> it's only jerseys in the top. All right, the guy that took his shirt off, <laughs> Mahomes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think you would have to, like, who where that would work would be honestly probably a, like a Jeff Ross going to roast the town, maybe mm-hmm. or roast the <clears throat> roast the things that could probably work. It had to be jokes like that, like that kind of quick. You know, mm-hmm. that'd be very funny. But it, it's it would be hard to get people's really focus. You know, people want to see. They're not because they're they're not even watching. Even the singers is like it's about the, mm-hmm. you know, them flying around. And yeah. I would do that. I'd be like, all right, I'll do it. But I'm gonna do. I would say I'll do it. But I'm gonna do my act, and I would. But I want to move around as much as a singer would. <laughs> Yeah, what if they could like yeah. float you to a different stage, you land on it, yeah. do a quick joke, yeah. and then you float to another stage, do a yeah. quick joke. There's a wardrobe malfunction. You could yeah. yeah, you would you would set it up like that. Have like uh yeah, like go out, do something and be like, I'm gonna read knock knock jokes, but I won't do it as a performance. But just a short greatest hits kind of thing where mm. you land and you go, Is that horse dead? And then it floats you over. Is that a wolf? And then it floats you, you know? Yeah. You do yeah. the whole thing. Just yeah. animal bits. Of yeah. Just yeah. animal, yeah. 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 Uh all right. I Jerry Reckon Uh <laughs> going backwards. Emily Osborne. A guy climbs fifteen hundred feet to the top of a tower in South Dakota twice a year to change a light bulb. It takes him two and a half hours to climb up and one and a half hours to climb back down. He gets twenty thousand dollars every time he does this. Who among you would do it? Uh, not well, there it is. I feel like something like this came. Not, I think that I feel like that's like thought, something was that's not it's not true. I pulled up the video and the, the, one of the comments is Dusty Slay. Not enough money for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are, and you're you're in it, dude. Why all over the place. Yeah. Uh, Why not, did you comment? I just. Uh, I don't know. I scroll along and then I yeah. just comment on things. I thought I read some too about this. I don't think he gets twenty thousand dollars. He gets more? No, no. I he gets it's an hourly, like it's not like it's his thing. Oh, uh, so this isn't a this is yeah, they're not they're, they don't go, here's twenty thousand dollars, go change that light bulb. That's uh, that I I'm almost positive that's not true. He's a city worker. I know Eric, the barber trainer, would do it because he <laughs> likes to do crazy stuff. I would want to do it. I don't know if I would do it, but I would want I would, the theory of it. I would want, I guess if you know you're strapped in, there's no way I'd do but it. But I mean, it's really, you're like, okay, I got it going. And then you get to the top and then you're like, oh man, I get the top and then I drop the light bulb. I don't want to do it just for yeah. the, the amount of steps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like if that were a staircase all the way up, I'd be like, nah, yeah. I'd be like, whoever's filming this, how about you do it? Yeah, how about you just attach the new bulb to this drone you got up here yeah. and just hook it in? Yeah, there should be a better way to do it. But I mean, he's really, I guess he looks at it as like you're really strapped in. I hope so. so. Yeah, I just wouldn't, I mean, I just feel like that would. I wonder how long it takes. Tower would top. Well, up. she said two and a half hours. Oh, climb. two and a half hours. Oh. Yeah, he probably has lunch up there and like. You know, man, you're just being left alone. <laughs> and they would pay $20,000. Yeah. yeah. Just the solitude is nice. Just to go, yeah, I would enjoy that. Just to go sit up there and. Man, that last part would be. the la- Yeah, I mean, all of it would be crazy. And then that last part would be like. Phew. And then if you're like, I can't do it. They're like, yo, dude, that's, you know. It would get annoying to be having to click on, click off and all that stuff. I watched a movie about a girl who got trapped on one of these i watched it i watched it in parts in tiktok like part one of nine i just kept oh they showed it and watched yeah i watched basically the whole thing how do they do that i just just make several videos people just do that so no one's even watching the whole but it's called fall or something like that something like that yeah yeah i watched the whole movie i mean and i jumped in she was already trapped so i I had no character development at all but i just wanted to see what happened yeah, uh, it would make. I mean, I already wouldn't do that, but after that movie, I'm definitely. That's not, crazy. I'm not dude. going up. There. Are people really watching stuff like that? Like that's I insane. I don't think they're watching whole two hour movies, but like I'll watch I know. long clips from movies all the time on there. I know. So, but then you, the problem is, is then you will, you will have an opinion about the movie. Uh huh. Of course. And then that's the part that people shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you don't get it. Like, you didn't go through the whole thing. 
Oh, you're right, because I'm just watching something yeah, out, so of I'm, <clears throat> out of context. Yeah, so out of context, you do it. So I'm saying, this is, it's just, I bet it's everything. It's just frustrating to be like, there's probably so many people that are like, I saw that movie, and you're like, they did not. See. Oh, yeah. They saw, not saying you you got the you got the gist of it, but you got it in a, like, I don't really care. Or you'd be like, ah, that movie was like, whatever. Because you were in a bad mood, and right. you're, you know, sitting on the toilet watching this movie and then mm -hmm. you have a real opinion and go out and go ah that movie's not that fun well think about the amount of people that have only seen a joke or a fraction of a joke from your last special oh, versus think, the amount of people yeah. that have sat down and watched the whole thing i i think it's a ton yeah i think it's beyond and they crazy. probably would comment oh that special was yeah. good or that special yeah yeah that's whatever. true and they've only watched one little you know little what piece. i actually don't think it's that bad of a thing <laughs> <laughs> and i'm glad that it's happening you know now they put it that way yeah uh yeah that happens a ton i mean I, there's a f the fruit joke like uh i i, I, mean, I get tagged in it and it's l like twice or two three four times removed from me mm -hmm. but the the one thing that's good with my i've they it's acknowledgement that it is me like there's right. everybody knows it's me you know because i mean it's showing me but that's a problem with comedy is you can have some stuff go where it's the audio something and someone's not crediting like oh yeah not like saying you're crediting like you know there's a slippery but but there's no but no one even knows what this thing is mm -hmm. and they don't know what that voice is they don't know what anything is so it's you know they're not like oh but yeah I, look most people i probably get recognized a ton Mostly now off TikTok. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Kids will be off TikTok. So, I mean, I, I say all this. It just, I hope, you know, I hope the world, it just doesn't come to that where you're just, you know, you're still making some movies and you're still. Are you still on a 90s movie kick? Uh, <clears throat> What did, yeah. When I watched Born, started watching some of that. God, what did I watch last night? Shawshank? No. <laughs> I, I'd like to make a comment on, th there's oh. a comment right here. Yeah. Apparently, this guy does this twice a year. This person says that's only forty. That's Yamanika Saunders, who's that, a comedian. Yeah, that's yeah. only forty thousand a year. Nope. It's like, well, it's only two days out of yeah. the year. He's yeah. got plenty of time to make some other money the rest of the year. Yeah, uh, I think she's assuming she's, this is all you do. Yeah. Well, that yeah. Yeah, but it's a mistake. Yeah, I mean, you got three hundred sixty-three days left. Yeah, right. yeah that's the Gregorian yeah, Yama, calendar. Yeah, Yamanika yeah. so. Sanders. I've been around Yamanika forever. Yeah. New York. Yeah. New York well, comic, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just commenting. I don't know her, but I'm just commenting on the, the comment itself. I'm just okay. saying there's plenty of time. Right. Well, she got 897 likes, Dusty, and you got 28. So, well, it seems like some jealousy is involved here. And no. she had 288 comments. I mean, she's moving the needle. But we're really, <laughs> well, but let's see what they're saying. You know, we're really saying the same thing. It's not enough money for us, but. Mm. Uh, well, oh, oh yeah. yeah, people aren't happy about it. Yeah. Well, but you got that's what you got to do. You got to get there's a uh, that's I don't know if I said on this. It is true. If you get Greg people Warren, to argue. you got to get people argue. Greg Warren's got his uh, we posted his joke about nurse practitioner uh -huh. on my thing, and uh, I've seen the little of the comments like I don't go read them because it's just but I mean, it's just I'll get them like you see the notifications. I mean. It's got so many because people, nurse practitioners are arguing or dot or there are, you know, whatever his joke is about nurse practice. Like he's not, you know, it's like just trying to be fun. No one's taking nothing seriously, but it's, uh, it's like, you got to get up and go like that. And then they just, but I don't, I don't think that builds what everybody wants it to build. That's the one oh, thing yeah. that I disagree when everybody talks about, uh, getting the clicks and like, you need them arguing, you need them mad, you need them all this stuff. I don't think that turns into uh, a positive for the ultimate goal, which is you. It turns a positive into if you're trying to, I guess, ads or you're trying to like, you know, you're just trying to make people come to, you get to go say, there's look at all these people commenting on this, look at all this kind of stuff like that. But I don't even think people would be buying stuff from the ads. It's, it's in a place of like people just want to argue. I don't think it helps. But I think the thinking is the more engagement that's going on in that post, the more people it gets in front of in the algorithm, right? So the people that you do want to see it, uh, because there's this argument going on in the comments, they're more likely that people are, the people you want to see it are going to see it. Yeah, but I'm saying with this, 
Mm -hmm. What does it matter who sees this? So this doesn't really matter. You're not, no one's, that guy's not going to make more money. The person that posts it's not going to make more amazing for these like like what's the what's the argument for them to be more engagement on it for the ads like where's the ads coming from like that, that's what I mean I don't it's not like Walmart posted this and then there's engagement it's <laughs> yeah. it's just a person posted this and then there's engagement that's what I don't understand mm -hmm. so that's why and I don't think it turns into actual a buyer like it, it doesn't turn into an actual like purchasing a ticket i mean if you're constantly getting stuff going i guess you could get known for that and then people come to see you because you're the guy that always gets people riled up or they follow you but i don't you know it's like there's that's still that's a very far and few between of who can actually really really make it and be substantial does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, there was fair. I mean, shock jocks, they were kind of the original guy. Like people yeah. hated Howard Stern, but they listened to him to yeah. get mad at him. But there's only one Howard Stern. Right. So that's the thing. Is everybody think it's like that works because it's Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work because the general idea of just getting people to hate one person, like m most time they're not going to. There's something that they like about him. Mm -hmm. Even though they hate what he's saying. All right. All right. That doesn't count as a rant. I just, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I, just, I don't want people to count that. No, I, count count that. I made a note of it for my <laughs> yeah. Festivus post that I do every year, the <laughs> airing of grievances. Um, all right, guys. Labor Day just passed us. We came over Nate's. We had a great time. I so picked, much fun. I picked up some burgers and hot dogs. All right, he's out of here. Uh, <laughs> I picked up burgers and hot dogs for a late summer barbecue, and I saved money by using Ibotta. Ibotta gives you cash back on hundreds of grocery items from produce to personal care to pantry goods. So you can mm. make sure you're beating inflation no matter what you're purchasing. Either link your lo loyalty account or upload your receipt after you shop and get your cash back. It's that easy. The average Ibotta user earns $120 per year. How about wow. that? Wow. Whoa. That could cover the cost of an entire shopping trip or a dinner out. You can earn cash back on hundreds of online brands and retailers, too. When you start with Ibotta, including Lowe's, Macy's. All right. I go to Lowe's a lot. Mm, I go to Macy's a ton. Sephora. There you go. My yep. wife's really into Sephora. Best Buy and more. I like a Best Buy. I like more. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the best news. Right now, Ibotta is offering our listeners $5 for just trying Ibotta by using the code Nate when you register. Just go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download the free Ibotta app and use code Nate. That's I-B-O-T-T-A in the Google Play or App Store and use code Nate. Ibotta. Ibotta. <laughs> Ibotta. That's what makes me think. Yeah. Of, like an Italian guy. Ibotta. I bought a microwave. You know the city that Bin Laden was killed in? You know the name of the city? Bin Laden. <laughs> 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 Where'd you pull that out at? That's the best joke I've heard. <laughs> Osama bin Hyde. <laughs> there, there is a uh, uh, comedian that's performing as Osama bin drinking. <laughs> uh, no, I do not know the name, but that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah that was funnier than the real Abada bad. Uh, I bought a bad. I remember when when it happened. John Stewart had a bit and said, "The best part of this is they got him in a city that sounds like a city a New Yorker would make up when they were talking." But <laughs> yeah, you dropped me off in what I bought a bad or whatever. And, I, and I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, good stuff, huh? Yeah, that's let's great. just let's. You know, oh, oh he's back. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, so this week, <laughs> Aaron just let me bring you up a speed. Aaron just asked Dusty where, what city Ob Osama bin Laden was killed in, and Dusty said Chicago. Been hiding. Been hiding. Been hiding. Been hiding. All right, one of our most uh, 
uh, most liked episodes of recent was appliances. There we go. And that's what we do. We give right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Here's a remake of it. Yeah. We're, all we are is uh, uh, doing movies. Sequels, yeah. 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 Just remaking movies. Remakes. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've become what we despise. Well, mm-hmm. we ended on a cliffhanger. Which we was, did. Yeah. Which was you saying, we haven't even got to my kitchen yet. I can talk, talk for 30 minutes just about a magic bullet. So wow, I where did it? say that. Yeah, so I didn't know we we're gonna do it so soon. But yeah, <laughs> I feel like, no, I can't. I'm excited. Have you ever anybody ever bought an appliance off television? I bought a magic bullet, magic bullet, one of the best infomercials ever made. And I there was a while there where I would watch infomercials, but this is before you know I had a smartphone. And you're, you're a kid, you watch TV, and that's all that's on at a yeah. certain hour. Is all these. Uh, infomercials the magic bullet one it had a story they did a great oh, job yeah. demonstrating the product i don't even know what it is a magic bullet is a blender where you put it on top and you push down to blend it and they would go you can make anything in one two three seconds and the infomercial was like this random group of like nine adults and the story was they were badly hung over. They were waking up in this kitchen and they're all sitting around this kitchen. And the guy just makes them all different stuff with the magic bullet. And I'd watch it all the time. So I bought one. Like, where would it air? Just some late night channel? Yeah, yeah, television late at night or like a Sunday, you know, weird hours on a Sunday. Huh. I've seen it multiple times. Do you use it? I haven't used it in a, in a This was a long time ago. Yeah. That I had one. I don't even have a blender now. We got 28 minutes left on this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we talk 30 minutes about it. Uh, I mean. Well. All right. So, well. That, that commercial seems kind of crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I've never wild. seen that commercial. Dude. He was like, anybody want nachos? And there's like, there's like a guy that's like the fat guy at the table. He's like, now we're talking. <laughs> and oh, they make the nacho gosh. cheese. And then there's a guy that's like the booze hound and they make margaritas. And he's like, that's what I'm talking about. It's, really? They I all mean, had distinct personalities. What? How do you make nachos? Yeah. Well, you'd blend up the cheese. Yeah. So you put like the cheese and you blend it up. Then you can put the cup from the magic bullet directly in the microwave, heat it up. Make fresh, you know, cl- fresh queso. It's probably getting a two variant. What do you mean? Like if you're doing cheese and then fruit and then like it's yeah. going to be like you're cleaning out the cup between each of these. Nonetheless, you know? cheese when you <laughs> microwave cheese in the thing, you're kind of like it's it's a cheese thing now. <laughs> <laughs> That's I know a, what you mean. This is my cheese blender. This didn't come up in the infomercial, but I think the reality <laughs> of doing that is yeah. Yeah, there's some, a, there's some caked on cheese there for yeah, a long time. Yeah, there's there's yeah, it's you just go everything's like does this spinach have cheese in it, and you go yeah. it all it all kind of like tastes like cheese a little I, bit. I think cheese just you know yeah that nacho guy. I, I hope they didn't open with him. <laughs> I love the stereotypical because <laughs> it's stuff like can like you imagine that, he does that and then they're and then everybody else is like this tastes like daggum cheese. Look, there's like I've an old there's a woman with a cigarette at the table. Yeah, and these people are like, well, we'll make everybody stuff with the. I mean, it's it's there are ups and downs, there are tears, there are laughs. Mm-hmm. And how long does this infomercial last? It's a half an hour infomercial. Wow, I and mean, that's a ton of butter, man. <laughs> yeah, I think that's cheese. That no, no, was butter. Right is that butter? Yeah, right before it, they did butter. Don't take it from that lady. Like I that. would do. I like. I mean, I look. I like. I like a lot of butter, but that felt like a lot of butter. And then watch you push it. One, two, two three. They long, count very slow. Yeah. One miss. And he's, and he's just, just chopping he gets one it more up. quick push in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and look at that. What do we got? Boom. Chee. Oh, that uh, does something. You got you another a shaker thing, yeah. on there. Oh, and then you put it in the microwave. Pop that in the microwave. That's yeah. cheese. That that whole top is going to be. Che- yeah, it's going to be all queso, man. You know, really going to be like. Are they going to make a margarita after this? <laughs> like, I don't. You know. Oh look, they do guac right here. I bet so. Is that Kevin from the office. No. What? Brian Baumgartner. Brian Baum. It looked like Nate's it. golf partner. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, nice. that guy. That is that yeah, the guy that wanted the nachos. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you can tell who's here. About. They're kind of creeping on this yeah. girl. There's a lot going mm-hmm. on at the table. That's what I'm saying, dude. This this was good television, and it made me want to buy the product. And then these people, they just some of them are starting. Oh, these making like a milk like a little chocolate milk. Yeah, for, for when the spoon's too hard. <laughs> yeah. How old are you when you? <laughs> and bought he this? goes and he puts milk and chocolate in there, and he goes, "Now you microwave it." And you go, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> 
I think we probably got one when I was in. Uh, they just did that again. School. That's gonna taste like cheese. It's yeah. gonna be a uh, chocolate milk with a little. No, it's, it's a, a it's a different cup. All right, so then then that's the thing, right? Know, when so you're when saying, they're like, doing it, you got a lot of cups. How does that become? Ooh, look, that's chocolate mousse in six seconds. That's sauce serve. How cream. do you even make mousse? What is mousse? Just warm ice cream? I don't, know. I don't think I it's. Think no it's one like knows. A, like a frothy. It's, cold. it's not that cold. It can't be that cold. He I don't just think made it's it. hot out of the oven. Well, he just made it, and they go, "All right, someone's being normal for a second and making an actual smoothie with this." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the magic bullet people would be like, well, at least we got one person that's asking for a normal thing. That guy with the coffee cup. That was longer thing. than three seconds. Well, they always say it's all right. So how long does it say that one was? That was I mean, they're, a know. smoothie, a three second gelato yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So if you bought this in junior high, your parents were on board with it. Oh, yeah. They said eight seconds for sorbet. a fat free sorbet. Yeah. 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 They got we got one for the family. Oh, I see. Eggs. You can make tuna. Anything a blender can do. (laughs) Well, it is a blender, (laughs) but it's, but it, you know, it's super convenient. It's fun. I had, but when you do the cheese one, it's like, do the cheese. Like, I think it probably should give you a label that says cheese stuff. (laughs) This is your cheese one. (laughs) This is your cheese one. You can't be putting chocolate milk in the cheese. But is that couple married? Oh, that's, I know exactly what line he just said right there. What? Well, he goes, I like the magic bullet because it is the ultimate party machine. That's what he just yelled. Yeah. And now we're making the fun stuff. And the drunks at the table are like, here we here go. We now go. we get into it. Okay. So little fruit. Yeah. And then the alcohol comes out and, you know, there's some fights at the table. And Did enemies you use were made. Yours, no liquid. I used mine. Yeah. yeah. But I just made smoothies. I just made typical stuff. No cheese dip. So they did not even show him put the alcohol in it. No, he's making queso right now. He's making queso. Yeah, queso is a oh. big part of this. Dude. Oh, they were. Why are they pushing queso so hard? <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the stuff, the magic it's the, bullet. It's the ultimate party machine. He's making quesadillas now. I mean, dude, you can do it all. As long as you got a microwave. Oh, they forgot they that thing's been microwave for forty minutes. <laughs> that queso, and they just grabbed it out it like it's not. Look hot. at that, dude. Tell me that doesn't look good. That yeah. does look good though. But look and at that it, guy's yeah. like, "Give it to give me, it to me buddy. <laughs> I'll uh, take the nachos." Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff, man. I recommend it. If you want thirty minutes, get a kill thirty minutes. Go watch. That reminds me of that guy. You ever remember Mike and Mike? And I could was... see getting stuck watching that. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm worried getting stuck watching it now. Just. Mm-hmm. Just kind of like, but Mike and Mike Golick would always be that. He would always be the food guy. Like anytime food was brought up, he's like, "Yeah, that's what I'm talking about." And it's just like, "All right, we get it, we get it." I, I'll be honest with you. Anytime you do a sports reference, I'm pretty shocked. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know why. <laughs> I should say. The, I thought of it the last podcast we just did, which is was earlier. You uh-huh. had a sports reference, and there you go. When I like to watch football. And then the when the kids and then right there when you're like when I watch Mike and Mike I'm like I just don't see you yeah as a guy watching Mike and Mike yeah I had a time with it mm-hmm. there's a, the Golic uh, the Golic family big big Nate Land fans are they yeah. are they yeah. yeah wow really I don't know about Mike Golic specifically but I know <laughs> he's got they're a big Notre Dame family yeah and uh, I've had uh, Jenny Golic who's in the family reach out and they're fans wow and, yeah. Yeah, well, that was my he, Mike uh, Golick was Tahoe. always doing the food, the food thing, and then mm-hmm. uh, yeah, he was always like every, every food right. He's like, oh, you know, I love to eat. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. Was there any talk about the magic bullet? I'm probably not a fan anymore. <laughs> but it, it feels yeah. like they make that his. He's like character. real skinny now. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he looks great. He looks good. Yeah, it feels like they make. Then they took him off, I guess, and just did Mike Greenberg. And Mike Golick was always the better one of the two. They were yeah. a good pair. Too skinny. He's backing he got up, too Mike. good looking. Back no, they were a good. <laughs> yeah. They were a good pairing. Yeah. I was a big fan of Mike Golick. <laughs> but Golick, not to... <laughs> but it was like it felt like that he made the food joke one time, and they were like, "Do the food joke every time." Uh, okay. I think he was a big guy. Yeah, he was a big guy, but so that's probably. Yeah, he does he do Weight Watchers ads? I don't know. Oh, he does maybe. something. Whatever he's doing, that's he working. He looks good now. Yeah, he, I'm yeah, not it's crazy. Up. He looks I'm not backing good. down. I liked him, but yeah, I thought he was the guy who plays uh, on the on the Larry David show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, he is, Jeff Garland. Yeah, I thought they were the same person. For they a while. do look very similar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that surprised me too, Dusty. I didn't know you listened to Mike. And- yeah, I mean, does it? He he's had a few references where you're like, "What?" Uh-huh. He knows uh, you're a big Tua guy, aren't you? 
Yeah, to yeah. You from Alabama. Have, you, don't go you know ahead, how to say his take last, a stab name? At that last to, name? To Tonga Vailoa, I think it's how you say it. Tonga Vailoa. Yeah. yeah, I was always impressed when you knew how to say his last name. There's yeah. like three people in the world that know how oh, yeah. to say it. Thankfully, the first name's unique enough. You don't really need to say the last yeah. name that often. But it felt like the sportscasters were always like, nah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to do the last name. Naga. I watched uh, uh, <laughs> Office Space 2 the other day. And yeah. He goes, Naga, Naga. Not going to work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie. Uh, some of the other big infomercial appliances, George Foreman Grill. I love a George oh, Foreman. Time. I don't have one now. But I used to, and I love it. What's George. so great Can about it? Can you find Lachlan Patterson's joke about it? Have we showed his joke on George Foreman Grill? I don't think so. See if you can play Lachlan Patterson's George Foreman Grill. Well, what was great about it? I mean, it's not it's nothing you can't just do on a, a pot. Uh, yeah. Like, it's all a right. four-minute bit. You want to listen to uh, it? Just do some of it at the beginning. Uh, he's coming out with me. Uh, that's it. Oh, towards yeah. the end of the year. I like mm -hmm. him a lot. I worked Lachlan's with him great. one time at Zaney's. Mm-hmm. Uh, go on to do other things that are wonderful <laughs> and some go on to become terrible to human beings <laughs> I think you all know who I'm talking about George OG. Foreman oh. heavyweight champion of the world I think I'm ready to design a grill it's clear that he didn't have ask for any help either it's clear he Clearly, he's pretty much on his own on that grill. Just kind of walked in there. I got an idea for a grill. I just thought about it just a second ago. I'm going to put it on an angle. I think that's all we need to do. And that's it. Let's do it. Nobody helped him, really. Nobody, nobody stood up to George Foreman and said, Hey, George, how about putting an on and off switch on your grill? What do you <laughs> Sometimes these things have switches. <laughs> Just an idea. Here at the grill factory, we like to put switches on most of our grills. Nope, don't eat it. This grill, you just plug it in and it's on. I'll make it take a couple hours to cool down while I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get them in a box. Let's get them on the shelves. Why are we still talking about this? I don't know. Nobody, nobody was like, hey, man. Hey, George, love this grill. Great idea. The grease drips off. I get it. What do you think about a thermostat? <laughs> With a range of different temperatures for different foods. Now, nope, one temperature is all you're going to need on this grill. 500 degrees. And come to think of it, make it hot on the outside, too, fellas. Yeah. Make the whole thing really hot. Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, yeah, I'm always a big fan of that joke. That is funny. It's very funny. Because it's just, it doesn't make, you know, I mean, there's nothing. He goes on, he does, you know, it's like there's no... Uh, he goes, how to clean it? Is it? Can we take the trays off to clean it? He goes, no, no, no. Make it where you have to put the whole thing in the <laughs> sink. Because <laughs> you have to put the whole. Oh, yeah. There's no way. See, I didn't to... get a lot of that because I've never had a George Foreman grill. At that oh. time, everybody, I felt like everybody had a George Foreman, probably when that joke was out. Yeah. So the selling point was it's at an angle so that the fat drips off and it's somehow healthier to eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you had a, you had a tray to collect it. And that's another thing that he says in the joke. Uh, was and then make sure the tray doesn't attach to it so you lose it immediately <laughs> yeah like, yeah because it's just gone you know someone told me that 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 grill was invented and they offered it they were going to offer it to hulk hogan they called him his agent missed the call and then they called george foreman mm. and that george foreman probably made millions who do you that. think's next on that list yeah, if yeah. george foreman <laughs> didn't answer the grill is this a dustin Vander, diamond grill or something Vander like that? holyfield <laughs> yeah maybe Probably a vendor, you know. I don't know if you <laughs> could have went to Mike nice. Tyson at the time. Yeah, a vendor Holyfield seems like too long of a name. For Holy, the yeah, that's a time. Well, George yeah. Foreman's not. I mean, it's easy. It's an easy name. I mean, there's more. There's uh, the same the amount Holyfield of syllables grill. in Evander as there is George Foreman. Maybe it's the Evander, the Evander grill. grill.
That's not or bad. they just do their own thing. I had buddies in college that had a grilled cheese business. Yeah. A late night grilled cheese delivery business, which is just a cash cow mm. in, in, a, in college. Yeah. And they had about 10 of these. George Foreman grills just lined up in rotation. Just put a bye bye bye. That's fun. Wow. And you can just order as many as you want. Oh, yeah. 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 And they would you just call and they had, I, yeah, I think you'd go by or call and, you know, like two, three a.m., they'd bring by yeah. these takeout trays of grilled cheese sandwiches. They, they had supreme ones with like bacon and it was a good time. Wow. Yeah. Man. And this morning. health department shut it down. Well, you know, it was very under the table. Yeah. Do they ever have like a press? Or That's just, what the George Foreman it is. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was one of. Have yeah. you never even seen a George Foreman? No. You never even seen. I don't think so. You're not you even seen, getting the idea. You've seen like a version of that where. Do like the a, white the with the see you can find the white one. Yeah, like the traditional. Uh, I mean, this would have been like yeah that yeah, one yeah like like this one. Like that's lean what it looks mean like. fat grilling machine. That's right. Yeah. You never even seen that, like on someone's counter. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> if I have, I wasn't paying attention to it. Do you think? I think that's worse than my uh, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> but, I do think, you think it's it very is? close, actually. That to know that you've never even encountered a George Foreman grill. Yeah, that's true. At is one that point, worse than... I think every family member I had had one. Oh yeah, I don't know what to do. Apologize. You know, yeah, a single guy too. They're made for you. <laughs> yeah, so you just put them in and then close it down. Like It's almost like a panini press. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it works the same way. All right. Have you even heard the name? Like like George Foreman Grill even? Yeah, I've heard of it a lot. I mean, that's why I mentioned it. Yeah. It's one of the best oh, selling. I, I forgot you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I've just never owned one. <laughs> you never even heard these words? <laughs> I, uh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you could do you could do a poll to go. What's worse, me never, yeah. not seeing Shawshank, never having seen the number one fan rated movie of all time on IMDb. Yep, and a movie mm -hmm. that everyone wants you to watch, and you yep. won't. And it, it's so good. And Brian yeah. not even knowing what a George Foreman grill looks like. Yeah. Yeah, never yeah. seen. George I think Foreman it's. Movie. I think it's close. I think yeah. I mean, knowing knowing your ages too, it's like there's no reason why you've not encountered these things. Like if you were like, if you yeah. were, you know, yeah. 18, you're like, yeah, the George Foreman grill has kind of been out of circulation, mm -hmm. but uh -huh. it's like, you were around when this thing was peak. Well, popular. He might've been yeah. a little bit outside. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they were targeting oh, <laughs> breakfast baits when the George Foreman came out. <laughs> I've probably been to people's houses who had one, but they weren't mm -hmm. using it when I was there, but we never had one. Hmm. No. Did yeah, you I cover see. that uh, Muhammad Ali George Foreman fight? <laughs> <laughs> the Rumble in the Jungle? Yeah. <laughs> the Thrill. Wait. Thrill in Manila? Which yeah. one was it? Was Spinks. I think the Thrill in Manila I think was Spinks. Egypt. Uh, the Mouse in the Palace. <laughs> <laughs> what is Egypt? Yeah, yeah I think so. Spinks. Yeah, Spinks. Spinks. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember George Foreman fighting his, Spinks. his second time around, his resurgence Spinks. when he became heavyweight champion again. Yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> yeah. It's a Sphinx. S P H. Yeah. Like I remember saying. George Foreman fighting because he wouldn't sit down. He fought one when he was older, and the, his thing was he, he wouldn't sit down when he went to the corner because he's like, I ain't getting back up if yeah. I sit down. Wow. There was a movie that just came out about him. I didn't see it. I wish I had. Maybe I don't know what that grill looked like. Mm -hmm. but, um, Leanne Morgan. I think that's a big part of the movie. Leanne Morgan's daughter worked on the movie. <laughs> oh, really? World heavyweight champion. And then at the end, you just see him grilling out. <laughs> I think it is a part of it. Yeah. I saw it in the trailer. Um, yeah, he probably made more money there. Than... Yeah, I think he did. Uh, you know, they say Dr. Dre made more money off Beats headphones uh, than he ever did music. And it's like not even close. Mm -hmm. 50 cent vitamin water. It's yeah. like not even close compared to what he made music. Wow. I'm sure George Foreman. I bet it's, I bet a factor of 10. That's my guess. Yeah. And I'll look it up now. Yeah. Well, that's why Hulk Hogan, I mean, what I heard about Hulk Hogan, like him missing that call was like devastating. It's hard to believe that if they really wanted him, they wouldn't just wait for him to call him back. I think they got the right person. I mean, all the stuff that came out about Hulk Hogan too, he had some yeah. stuff come out. So then you, that would be, you know, they George Foreman like has kind of sailed under the radar of like nothing is really going around. Is he, uh, 
Oh, they paid him a hundred thirty eight million lump sum. Yeah. Use his name it's, in per estimates are you earned in excess of two hundred million on the grill. True. He said much more. There were months I was being paid eight million a month. Wow. Just to use his name. I mean, they were so hot at one time. I mean, that's why it is shocking that you never encountered it because Uh, it's like the magic bullet of Gen X. What's in perpetuity you mean? What's that mean? (laughs) Forever. Forever. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine $8 million a month? Yeah. See, there's Hulk Hogan down at the bottom. There must be some mention of that. Yeah. I saw one where it said Hogan made a mistake in the article. He said he he chose to endorse a meatball maker over (laughs) it. The Hulk Hogan meatball maker does sound (sighs) fun. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. Uh, can you click on it? Is that going to be a whole thing? It's going to be. Uh, yeah. What was the meatball maker yeah, got that he was going to do? They did not. He met with his agent. Was given three options for products to endorse: a grill, a meatball maker, and a blender. Of all <laughs> of if, those, what if he goes? Uh, uh, it becomes the George Foreman grill, and then it becomes the Magic Bullet, and then he <laughs> yeah. goes, he goes. I be honest, I think meatball, <laughs> yeah. Hulkamania meatball maker. Agent goes, I got this meatball maker. It pounds the meatballs when you clench arm muscles and press fists together. Well, that's fantastic. I want the Hulkamania meatball maker. That's what it was called. Oh no! And then he passed on the Foreman grill. Mm. Yeah, because people are just does dying say, to make. It meatballs. Does it say what the blender is by any chance? Or no, not that I saw. Okay. Uh, it would be funny if it bullet. was the magic yeah. bullet. Yeah. By Magic Johnson. It's like his, <laughs> it's his thing. Oh, that's his other client? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that would have been so funny. Because I'll do the meatball maker. <laughs> it just doesn't even sound fun. No. If you could have a pro, if you could have the Nate Bargetsy, whatever. Appliance? You know what it would be? It doesn't have to be an appliance, but. A meatball maker? That's an appliance episode, though. Maybe it should be an appliance. You're right. Maybe we should dial it in. Yeah. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> right. you know. uh, hmm. I don't know. I've already got an Aaron Weber grill. Well, I can't do that. Yeah, Weber grill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you can't do the Weber grill. That's what I'm saying. I can't. So, you, well, what else would you do? I don't I don't know. A bread maker, Crock maybe? Crock pot. <laughs> It would have Slow. to be. It would have to be Aaron. It couldn't be Weber because then it would just sound like the Weber. Right. It could be uh, you get the name Crockpot. Something the slow, a- Aaron, hard, to, hard, Aaron. To, hard to grab a hold of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aaron Air Fryer. So I guess Croc is a brand. Oh, I think oh. I thought Brian. Quit. Yeah, it's a slow cooker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a slow cooker is the is the yeah. and then a Crockpot is a brand. Oh, uh, but it's like Kleenex. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> what about Viore? Oh, man. <laughs> Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at Viore.com slash Nate. I'm wearing all Viore today. We all love our Viore. Viore. Are, wow. You're wearing Viore, Viore here. I'm not shorts, wearing any right I now. Shorts I, I wish I was. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't have it on and I'm not as comfortable mm-hmm. as I'd like to be. I tell you, I bought my Looks wa- like you have that shirt on underneath that shirt. <laughs> that one from the <laughs> yeah, Columbia, yeah. the Cuban <laughs> shirt. <Yeah. laughs> Doesn't look like he's got to both. I just keep layering them. Yeah. And uh <laughs> it's the same undershirt as the other, look, other shirt. How big is that undershirt? <laughs> What's that? How big is the undershirt? What do you mean? It just feels. <laughs> I mean, it's a tighter. Does it not shirt. feel full? Well, I went from a loose shirt yeah. to, a, to a tighter shirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're hitting all the spots. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is why the guy wouldn't let me get a medium. <laughs> <laughs> but we love our Viore, and uh, I, I bought. I went online. I didn't tell my wife I was doing it. I bought her a bunch of shorts, wow. and then I said I just ordered you some shorts. And she got mad at me because she's like, "Well, don't get mad at me if I don't wear them because you just buy things without asking me." And she loves them. Yeah. So, and I love them. They're the best. Viore is a new outlook on performance apparel. Perfect if you are sick and tired of traditional old workout gear. Or even if you're not, you just want something fresh. Viore can be worn for any activity like running, training, yoga, but also great for lounging or weekend errands. It is so comfortable, you'll want to wear it all the time. The website is very easy to order from. It It is not... It, uh, <laughs> It is not cluttered or busy. Seriously, order something today. Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our listeners, they're offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash Nate. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash Nate. 
Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping Hmm. on any U.S. orders, over $75 and free returns. Go to viore.com slash Nate and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Wow. Mm. Some other popular miles above. Come on. Miles. Come on. (laughs) Come on. That's a good comeback. You you get personal with it. You shared the story about your wife. Yeah. Got a challenger over here. Yeah. Chinese yeah. brother even True. had a little moment in there to insult my clothing I'm wearing now. You know what I mean? The it just was a good ad yeah, read altogether. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. it's like I'm wearing Viore, so I get to uh, you know harass other people about their clothing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think he tripped over third base there at the end, but that's okay. What do you mean? Got a little, got a little, uh, little lost in the wording there. I did, I did for a second, and you're right about that. I got it. It says it is not, and I don't know why that <laughs> tripped me up. Yeah. It is not. That's easy. Well, that's to read. what separates. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's the college education coming into play. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I wish we had it. I applied to Michigan State. Didn't He's wearing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I couldn't have gotten Michigan. I mean, it would have been a miracle to get to Michigan yeah. State. My apologies to Michigan State. Somebody sent me this long message that you you are horribly wrong about, them, and then told me they have great research programs and everything. Well, it's know. just a robbery, right? No, we don't care uh, enough he, about them to really. It was an ad read. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was. There it was an ad read where he blasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <laughs> why don't you care? They're doing better than Notre Dame in sports, right? Now, I mean, for I mean, a past in, little bit. In what? In what way? Football. I mean, Notre Dame like no, gets to the football doesn't even. Well, close. y'all get to the championship because you're in. You don't join a league. You play like Conference. Cincinnati fifteen times. Hey, you're, you're better than this, dude. This is like, <laughs> this is like a guy at a bar who knows. This, you, you you don't even believe what yeah. you're saying. Right now. Come on, dude. You're better. Than Aaron that. just got home from <laughs> Michigan up. State's doing. They do. They're fine. They're not fine. The Michigan State's are legit. I and mean, they won the yeah, basketball. They won a championship. Yeah, a few times. They're a real college. I'm not knocking them. Aaron just got home from a big weekend watching Notre Dame play a powerhouse. Right. That's right. <laughs> we play Tennessee State. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mm. yeah, they're a big, big time program. Eddie George, that's true. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, some other <laughs> infomercial items very popular. Vegomatic. This is back in my day. Vegomatic. It slices. It dices. No one. Yeah, I think I remember. I that. remember, I remember that. that term. Slices. It. Dices. There was a lot of Gallagher had a. Dude, it looks like a Foreman grill with just the cuts things instead of cooking them. Oh, it does. Gallagher oh. had a sledgeomatic. That was one of his props. Dan Aykroyd on Saturday Night Live did the Super Bassomatic '76. There was a lot of spinoffs of that. The Ginzu steak knives. Oh, I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah. What's the other? There's some they knives cutting, you could sell. Too. They were cutting coins. Those are those Cutco things. knives. Cutco knives. I had a bunch of friends when they sold Cutco knives. One of them, could, a Ginzu, I think, could cut through a shoe. Or, yeah, they were yeah. cutting coins. I thought. Yeah, maybe. That's, maybe that's too much. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, if you cut a coin, that's yeah. sharp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a, that's a strong sword. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Jack- I felt like they were cutting nickels or something. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it's a nickel, then okay. But I mean, we're not talking quarters of dimes yeah, right, here. Right. We're talking. All right. Uh, the Jack LaLanne power juicer. Mm. Mm. The slap chop. Slap chop was big. I remember the slap chop. I don't remember the slap chop. It was uh, it was the Sham Wow guy. Remember oh, the Sham Wow guy? Oh yeah. And you just slap chop, and you literally just chop. You put something in, it and you go kaka, and just chop it like that, that. guy. That guy was disappeared he, too, huh? Yeah, he did a movie though. <laughs> He's an actor. <laughs> what movie? Yeah, I, I forget. He got <laughs> oh, in the I didn't want yeah. to pull that. Up. Vince got, Offers is his name. Yeah, he got in. Uh, I thought he got. Canceled or I say Wikipedia. Here we go. He got in trouble. Offering money. <laughs> they got to get paid. The Wikipedia. I'll give them money. Huh? <laughs> I'll give them money. I use them every week. I know. I've I've, I, well, I've, I've, I've talked about it before. I give. I'll. I've given them money. Yeah. Wikipedia money. I I do it, but that thing doesn't go away. <laughs> so yeah. we need more. If you if you if you, unless you, I'll right. give you the money if you promise that goes away. Yeah, that should be the prize. Yeah. Does it go away? How'd you make it go away? Does it go do it always it come back? Yeah. I it'll said, come back it, I said it in a week. It said take a week off from bugging me. And then a week later it'll come back. Oh. Yeah. I mean they, they should just say, if you get this, we won't have this on here. And then I would be like, Okay. 
and here's five dollars or a dollar mm -hmm. see you later yeah 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 i would pay for it to stop yeah. asking me because i feel like they're always asking this guy's name was offer schlammy <laughs> and he changed his Sounds name like to vince offer Vince Offer sounds like a salesman. I got yeah. something to offer you. Changes. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds like he's selling the offer shlami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he directed and appeared in the underground comedy movie, which mm. was met with extremely negative reviews. Mm. Why they have oh, to he's in Adam Sandler's that. movie, Jack and Jill. Oh, wow. He appeared as himself in the movie. They call him the Sham Wow guy. The Sham Wow commercial. He did get great. in trouble, though. Yeah. He had some, uh, he had some legal problems. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. I mean, there's a whole legal issues okay. section. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Stuff we don't. Yeah. He got, yeah. He got a little after it. And then but he's uh, doing all right now. But he says the arrest saved his life. If anybody, I saw the age. Don't look. Did you see the age? I, I just saw now? it. Yeah. Mm -mm. How old do you think he is? 53. Pretty good. 59. Hmm. 59. Yeah. Vince Offer. That can't be him right now, though. But, well, wow. he's got such a, I mean, he was everywhere, dude. He was yeah. the guy. Shamwell commercials were great. Yeah. He was really, and then Billy, Billy Mays. Was Billy it? Mays was the, the, the greatest. The flex time. seal guy. That guy still, clean. that flex seal, well, they, they're riding the boat. It's just made of flex seal. Yeah. <laughs> the whole boat is flex seal. Yeah. I wouldn't trust it, but. I don't understand. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, at first it was like, all right, we're covering the whole of the boat. He's like, we're going to take <laughs> the screen door. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it was like that stuff. Yeah. But now he's just in a flex seal boat. Oh. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just the whole thing is the, like, look up flex seal boat and see if, I think the whole mm. boat is the flex seal. Did he die? Um. Should I look this up before we keep? Well, I, I see one, or maybe it's yeah. Is it that black tape? Yeah, I swear, dude, it's spread out to be the whole boat. See that boat? The on whole the boat's held together. See the whole boat keep going way right. Whoa! Uh, hold on, hold on, keep, hold on, uh, hold on. That bottom. This one right here. Yep. The whole thing's black. Well, I think it's just a black boat. <laughs> but your thing is black. It's not. Why would he be driving that? And then if he if his thing is black tape and he's like, oh, this one, I'm just, uh -huh. if you're like, hey, man, what's up with that? And he's like, oh, I'm just, uh, this is, oh, he's, the Swift. whole thing is it's a boat. Super wide duct tape is out now. Yeah. I'm so Phil I Swift. think this is a whole boat. Billy Mays died. Billy Mays died. But he Phil did. Swift, yeah. He did die. Phil Swift is keeping his legacy alive. He, he makes an entire boat out of this. Okay. I'm going to wait. We're going to see it. Yeah. Because it comes, and I mean, it, <laughs> he's just cruising. He's cheesing with that smile, dude. No more of that. You put that on there. He boom. knows he's sitting boom. on a window. That looks bad. Yeah, yeah, don't use a lot of tape all sloppily. Yeah. Use it neatly. You tape up a window. Tape up a box. It does look better. Go to the post office. Yeah. Now we got a boat. So he got a boat look frame. That. Look at that, Nate. You were right, man. He's got a boat frame. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he got a flex seal boat. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, <laughs> and he's dude. He's got a little speed too. Man. I mean, there's no way, dude. <laughs> like, I mean, out of the boat frame, like the whole. Wow, that was crazy. You, you want to go? You got to be like when he gets up out of that. It's just his shoes are soaked. Yeah, and all that stuff. But yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they went as far as first. They'd be like, "Look at this. We got a hole in this boat. I'll just put this on there." And you're like, "Okay." And then now he's just like. I'm just on the <laughs> just build them I'm up. on the seas. <laughs> I'm going out. You can see you see uh that deep sea fishing. Yeah. You just see him out there. <laughs> just a boat of tape. Yeah, just a boat. Of, yeah. Why would you even buy a boat? Yeah. Just buy a frame and then buy. Yeah, frames gotta be so, the cheapest. And then yeah, frames what? 20, 30 bucks? <laughs> and then the tape. Nineteen ninety nine. You'll need a mm -hmm. you'll need a bit of tape. Yeah. You were probably right. And a motor. A couple rolls. Yeah, and a, a <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's got a motor yeah. attached to this. Yeah. And it's, I mean, he's flying. That's probably all fake. <laughs> I don't know. You just put a tarp over a boat. The jump, the slow motion jump yeah. is crazy at the end there. It's like they're telling you to build a boat out of this. Yeah. Tape. I think he's just trying to demonstrate how good it is. But with the slow motion jump, they're like, go ahead and do this. Go yeah. ahead and build this boat. You can, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't mess around. Build this boat. 
You got an old screen door at home? Yeah, like that was the old day. Like, I mean, that's how much he's come along. Like, it's like, all right, the boat split in half. I think that one, they cut the boat in half. Right. And then he puts the tape down the middle. All this, I'm kind of like, you're like, okay. And then straight up just builds a speedboat. <laughs> Not even that kind of boat. That's like a one of those fishing boats. Yeah. yeah. Like he builds, you know. Yeah, he built a, uh, the real deal. He's doing jumps. Yeah. He's got his little headset. He's still talking. He mm -hmm. jumped the shark. This guy can do it all. He's a <laughs> captain. He's a He is the shark. I don't know if he could jump. Dude, he's <laughs> you make a boat. It's he's just like, yeah, we got a product that's and by I, the way, I've never heard anybody world. on earth use it. Never <laughs> no, seen it in me person. Either. Me either. Never seen, you know, it's still duct tape. Well, I don't I'm not really in a situation where you know boat gets cut in half that often. I feel like I've used some Flex Seal for something, but I don't remember what it was. Do you feel like it's actually a disservice? They they demonstrate its effectiveness with these scenarios you'll never use in real. I'll never have to tape a boat back together mm -hmm. in half. Right? Oh. But I but I might need tape to, you know, fix a chair or something. What if it goes overwards? Like duct tape, you're like, yeah. I could see it not working because you think, I mean, I don't need the tape to be that strong. Right. Yes. Right. Like, I'm not going to not have this thing never give off the, you know. Like like putting a box together, like, was one of the demonstrations. It's like, I don't need flex seal. No, yeah. the regular box. tape's looking, is working great yeah. for yeah. a box. Yeah. I mean, what you got in that box? But then, yeah, but then that guy's like, what if the box becomes the flex seal? Yeah. Whoa. I might want to use this box later for a boat. Yeah. You know, you never know. I might not have a boat frame, but I guess the boats the 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 box will not break is what it's saying. Yeah. Right. You can load it up, it's like it's just not gonna break. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Because I've made a boat out of it. Yeah. Dude. That's what he probably says a lot. <laughs> I don't know. If it's yeah, strong. you ever made a boat out of you ever made, I a, made boat a boat out of, out of tape? tape? Yeah, duct tape, please. You think he has any duct tape at his house? <laughs> oh, Look <good>. at that. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes right in. What is this all about here? I don't, I don't know. know. He's getting, he's having fun though. Yeah. This guy seems to really like his job. Yeah, he likes, he believes what he does. I like that. Uh, that's flex glue. <laughs> all right. <laughs> anyway. Let's see if y'all have any of these appliances. Uh, electric popcorn maker? No microwave? Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. You might have just a, just a popcorn maker? Uh, no, I feel it. Yeah. You don't, yeah, you don't have a microphone. Electric toothbrush? I do. Or a dent? Yeah. I know. I don't know. It's Sonic. Maybe Sonic something. I've never, I've never had one. Oh, they tell you. What's it feel like? Uh, it's like a toothbrush, like the dinner, you know, when they do that little yeah. spinny thing. I don't like whether that. Uh, <laughs> it's not that. It's not just like that. It's okay. better than that. Okay. But they tell you to use that over brushing your teeth. Yeah. They they said use that over a regular toothbrush, a, vib a vibrating one. Yeah, an electric one. That's how they would call it. I can't it. have another. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go. With it. Yeah, the dentist would know. He said, "You may get one of those vibrating toothbrushes. I ain't doing that." No. And he goes, "Well, I won't worry about it, sir. You only have about eight teeth left." So, yeah. And he goes, "There you go." Is that one of them gyrating. I went toothbrush? to the doctor the other day, and he told me to get a vibrating toothbrush. You're like, you mean the dentist? He goes, "No, the doctor." Dude, I was doctor. at the doctor's. Dude. I got the tooth doctor. He goes, get one of those dead gum vibrating toothbrush. I got one. You got your mind. <laughs> I have so many electronic devices as a part of my everyday life. I can't have, like, where does it the, stop? The, the toothbrush is now yeah. electric too. What else is going to be electric? Hey, this has been around for <laughs> maybe yeah, 70 has years. Been around for I've, resisted. This is, I've resisted. Yeah. I actually I, had that as a kid. You had an electronic tooth? Yeah. What, it light up like a You don't even sneaker. know how to, yeah, I feel like you don't even know how to describe it. You sound like his age talking about this. <laughs> I know what it does. It it vibrates. That's what that's what an electronic but, toothbrush. What so else you, does it? When do? you charge it, it has one. The one I have has like the a way glass. you say it though, electronic yeah. toothbrush, electric toothbrush. <laughs> oh, I must have been <laughs> like saying it's gonna electronic. light up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You just set it in the thing and it charges. And I think it that kind of yeah. spins. It can spin, right? You so it's not just vibrating. Too? It's spinning. Yeah, it does a little spin circle and then it vibrates. Okay. But the doc, but the dentists say it's better, it's better on your gums. It's because you're not, you know. I would brush my teeth so hard. Yeah, 
I would. I think you would. I think you do too. <laughs> Why do you think that? I don't think you can stop. You know, it's like you're <laughs> bull in a china shop. My yeah. brain thinks yeah. it's a fork. You're a bull. In, you know, no, like <laughs> bull in a china it. shop. Like okay. that. Okay. I don't clutch. think you're gonna. You're gonna. Not a clutch. You're just, just. I'm not gentle. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's some recreational appliances. Hot tub. Anybody got a hot tub? Hot tub an appliance. Nah. I don't know. That's an appliance. Uh, it's like, is a pool table an appliance? Yeah, I don't know. A hot <laughs> tub's not an appliance. <laughs> I don't know. It's called it a recreational appliance. What? Uh, uh, They're phoning it in over here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Who has these? A window. <laughs> you know, a window's not an appliance. You just, I guess. Electronic windows. <laughs> Electronic window. You go tell me those vibrating windows. I went over to the doctor at Home Depot. At the, and then he told me to get one of those electric windows. <laughs> what about a bike? Electric e-bike? Electric e-bike. Yeah. What about that? Oh, that was so good. I didn't notice. <laughs> wow. I think that... I don't yeah. even have a... Are you sure that I uh, have Maybe one? in here, yeah. You sure that I have a... Yeah, it's right here. Sit, Aaron. I folded it up. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I figured you'd You're already done that. stacking papers over here, dude? <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you know what time of year it is. Summer. We have enjoyed being outside with longer days to ride our e-bike but summer's winding down isn't that a bummer it is electric e-bikes are gearing up for an endless summer let's keep it going let's hop on the electric xp 3.0 the most popular e-bike in america packed with premium features it has both pedal assist which is what i recommend and throttle functions you can get one for only 999 dollars. that's a steal i love our electric e-bike and all of you will too it's a fun thing to have on the road. You fold it up. You put it in the back of the car. It can fit in your vehicle. Trust me. You might think, oh, I don't have a pickup truck. I can't fit an electric bike in my... Well, you can. They have quality feature-filled models financed as low as $73 per month, so it won't cost you a fortune. A powerful removable battery that's easy to charge. It's got a bright LCD display and seven-speed gearing. Over 250,000 riders are on the road so far. Let's join them. Roam freely and reach up to 28 miles per hour. Feel the wind in your hair. Enjoy freedom. Enjoy life. Make every day feel like an endless summer vacation with an XP 3.0 from Electric. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more and explore the epic models Electric has to offer. Listen in. That's L E C T R I C ebikes.com. They are very fun. That was a good. That was good. Thanks, man. That was good. Appreciate yeah. it. Well, it helps when you believe in the product. You know? Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to take a page out of Phil Swift's book. You know, I yeah. can't stop watching this video. of Phil Swift. He's picking <laughs> up two uh... cement blocks glued together. I don't know why he's ripping the chicken wire down or busting the glass. But right. I don't know why he's doing any of this. Let's get back to it. Do gutters. <laughs> <laughs> gutters are assistance. Outdoor appliances. Yeah. yeah. Mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> Close steamer. I learned uh, about that from like a steamer. I don't think that's an appliance. That feels. Like I don't know if I, I. You just call it what it is. I wouldn't say. Well, if someone goes, "What's a do you?" If somebody goes, "Do you have a steamer?" and said, "Describe it like an iron," I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't call an iron appliance. Would it was you? listed as an appliance. But if somebody wanted to use their oven, they wouldn't go. Do you mind if I use your appliance? But if you, if oven? someone said the name appliances, I think you're going refrigerator, oven. I, I think you're. Those are the I, I think you're in the, hitters, but well, I, think, I think you're in the kitchen, and I think once you leave the kitchen, you think, well, it's an iron. But then you think laundry; those are appliances. You don't washer and dryer; those are that appliances, is true. right? Yeah. And the steamer's typically going to be in the laundry room. Yeah, but that's that its own thing. It doesn't get to be with the. Washing and dryers too. It's it's a big thing. I think they're playing. I think appliances are very. Leagues. I think they're very big. So I think when you think appliances, it's oh. a giant. Well, I think thing. in the lows, you know, they'll have uh, a small appliances section. Yeah. So Magic maybe we bullet. should just classify it. Small yeah. So appliances. Maybe you said that. Yeah. So there's this a episode vision. should have been all small appliances, and not appliances episode that's two. True. Yeah, that's true. We should. Yeah. Well, we can still change it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll it was see. really just a joke. I mean, it, it, it didn't land, and then it felt like it got <laughs> serious. serious. It got taken very seriously. It was too good of a point. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Uh, pen, rice cooker. Rice yeah. cooker. I got a Instapot. That's what we Instapot, cook rice in. Right. I have one. Never used it. Couldn't figure out how to set it up. Gave up. 
I Air, love it. Got mad. Put it back in the box. Put it in the closet. I only use it for rice, but it's really great for that. That's what everybody says. You put it in. It's zero work. You just push yeah. a button and it mm -hmm. works. But, I, you know, I can't figure it out. You didn't like it. Didn't oh, I, I like the idea of it. Yeah. We got one for our, as a wedding present. It was on our registry. Somebody got us one, and I, I can't figure it out. I give up real quick. Mm -hmm. I get mad when I can't figure out a rice pot. You yeah. Know? That's, I feel bad about myself. Yeah. You know, you're going to make a good father one day. <laughs> <laughs> you're already doing the stuff like a father. The father gets mad at Yeah. He goes, then put it away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not getting rice. We're not getting, <laughs> we don't we care about rice. like rice in this house. <laughs> yeah. Dusty, yeah. do you have but a. What if his Chinese brother comes over? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And wants some rice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Make the old fashioned one? Uh huh. Have Lucy do it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's the old fashioned one. That way. is the old fashioned one. All right. Do you have a, a diaper genie? I don't know what that is, but I don't think so. <laughs> how do you, how does Hannah dispose of the diapers? Well, we have, uh, well, maybe we do have that. Actually, yeah, now I'm seeing, I don't think it's that name brand, mm -hmm. but we have a, yeah, a, a cylinder container with uh -huh. a lid and you stuff it down in there and mm -hmm. it kind of sucks it up into a plastic bag. Yeah. I think, I think we had one. Dusty uses the word cylindrical and nobody, nobody bats an eye. <laughs> Did he? Well, he, he said cylinder. Like, he said cylinder, but you know, he meant cylindrical. Yeah, but cylinder <laughs> sounds, but I yeah. still, I mean, I don't care for any of it, but it's <laughs> cylinder is a little more. Okay. That's, that's like a simple. guy. That's a, you know, a that's guy. That's a shape. That's a trailer park guy that get, came into a little money. Yeah. says cylinder now. Yeah. He goes, what are you doing cylinder for? It's like a big, like a big beer can. There yeah. you go. Yeah. There yeah. you go. A tall boy. But yeah, I don't think it's called a dream, a diaper genie, but uh, we got that. Yeah. Yeah. But that would be an appliance, right? See, I wouldn't call that an I, appliance. That's like a trash can. You don't call a trash can appliance. Yeah, because there's no electronics to it. You call a trash can appliance? If it's an electric trash can? You got vibrating. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think it's got to have some kind of moving part, like a. Um, doesn't have to be electric. Mechanical parts or to does it. it. I don't think so. Does an appliance have to be electric? Can you name one that's not? Coffee electric. grinder, a stove. Stove's electric. Well, if you no, got gas, or oh, gas. Oh well, it's got to be powered by something. Now, I people you, said. I think last episode you talked about how that thing underneath a grill. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't count as a point, though. I don't it's know a if grill. a grill counts. Yeah, I don't think I would count a grill. A as grill an is a grill. Oh, you think grills an appliance? Mm -hmm. I would okay. say no. George Foreman grill is. Yeah, that's George true. Foreman grill. All right. right. Yeah. I yeah. know all about them. Yeah, I was talking about the uh, the proving drawer at the bottom of the. Yeah, apparently people said that's for keeping food warm. Wait, right. that's what you said. Yeah, I had heard that. It, I've never used it for that purpose, but I heard that. I guess it's only if it's gas grills, they said. If it's electric, oh. that's not the case. Oh, okay. So it's just storage if it's electric. I guess. Okay. Well. But they kept it because people like it. Mm -hmm. But do you think in old days when indoor plumbing first happened, a toilet was an appliance? I think it was a, a luxury item. Yeah, does that have anything to do with what's an appliance and what's just... I don't think it's an appliance. I don't think it is either. I think it's just a fixture in the house. It's mm -hmm. furniture. Yeah. It's furniture. Okay. A toilet's like a chair, right? So, <laughs> it's got to be more than furniture. I don't think you go to the <laughs> furniture shop and they're like, hey, go, I don't see your toilet section. <laughs> Excuse me. Ashley Furniture, I'd like to head over to your toilet section. They might have them there. You ever they? use a toilet with the with the uh the padded seats? Yeah. I don't yeah. care. I don't care for it. I don't, I don't like, like it either. I always I oh, like do you it. like it? I didn't mind it. It's probably nice to to if it's your own home. It's like a boat. Yeah. If you're if somebody else has got one, great. Yeah. But if you got to deal with the the upkeep, I oh, bet I, I bet it. it's not fun. What's the upkeep? Yeah, what's going on? I mean, I imagine <laughs> it's <laughs> I, got it. I mean, you got to wait a couple of days for it to get back to form. <laughs> <laughs> memory foam <laughs> God. you gotta Dead. flop it and like, reshape it <laughs> his dead gum thing ain't. it's all been out <laughs> Lucy's like Aaron yeah. I know who's been in here <laughs> told you to use the other bathroom <laughs> it's got an air pump <laughs> <laughs> it's like your shoes you gotta yeah. pump it back up <laughs> <laughs> I'm not familiar with it you but don't know what I'm talking about uh, I don't know what the upkeep is. Oh. I, don't know what the up I just meant cleaning. <laughs> like you don't tell me that's not going to be a little more complicated to like something well, like that, like carpet. I mean, like yeah, what is going right. on? That's yeah. so much more complicated than 
or you know, yeah, stuff like, like a that. towel. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that at well, all. Some of those are pretty big, though. <laughs> that wouldn't be. <laughs> That's pretty high up <laughs> to be like, that's brutal, dude. I mean, that's, yeah, that one, you're like, what is that? Like, that's crazy. Your legs are dangling. That's a good two feet before you even get to where it needs to go. I mean, that's, that's, that's a plop. Yeah, that's, that's like, you gotta, that one's one you bring in your backpack and you, and you go, I got mine. He goes, you got toilet. He goes, you can use your toilet. I got my own seat. Don't worry about it. And you pull out your own toilet seat. I'm talking about like this one. See, yeah. it's like plush. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I imagine cleaning it. It's going to be a little more complicated. A little like it's. It's. I think different. you just wipe it down. <laughs> what are you trying to? Then do why doesn't it? everyone have these? I. Uh, I mean, I think people could feel like they feel gross because it's like you're. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm. It's, it's, yeah, but I mean, but I don't feeling more than the actual. The, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to get that comfortable in there. I just want to do what I'm there to do and get on out. Well, you probably have a bidet. I'm guessing. Well, I'd like to get a bidet. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. You do like garden hose right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, you know, I was yeah. reading about toilet paper. Out in his garden. Yeah. Good. What's, what's wrong what with toilet paper? What do you do with... Uh... They say there's some chemicals in there and it, <laughs> you absorb it. Dude, if we went to your house absorb right now, we it. see a garden hose coming through the window. Windows never shut all the way. <laughs> yeah. It goes under your bed. It goes in the toilet. That. I got my grounding cord coming yeah. out. I got a <laughs> lock coming yeah. in and out. Yeah. A lock yeah. coming yeah. in and out. Yeah. 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 How many doors do you think you have actually closed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, that is funny. We In the trailer, you know, we had that uh, corded phone. Mm -hmm. And everybody, people would come over and use the phone, but had a real long cord. Mm -hmm. So they would go outside to get their oh, own, to get their fun. own privacy. Mm -hmm. uh, the door closed. But yeah, like, fun. you know, it's just got a little, little gap at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different times, man. <laughs> Crazy times. <laughs> people come over to use your landline. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you had a, yeah. Because we had one and a lot of people didn't. Mm -hmm. Wow. So they'd be like, can I borrow your phone? So are you just fielding yeah. calls from people at the park all all the time? Uh, I don't. I was a kid, so I wasn't doing it. My yeah. mom might have been doing it. Yeah. But I remember getting my first caller ID box. Was that did that be an appliance? No. And uh, <laughs> out of all the ones, that's when we go, all right, I'll let that one go through. <laughs> You remember that though, the yeah. caller ID box where you oh, had yeah. the, and it's like the first time somebody called, oh, you crazy. knew who it was. How would they, yeah. yeah. Uh, My mom like, still has a landline and an answer machine and it shows you who's calling. What's her voice, what's her uh, answer machine message sound like? About what you'd imagine. Yeah. 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 The old lady, like, this is the Bates residence. We can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> My mom just remade hers and, and it goes, I'm busy. You know what to do. And I'm like, that's not even who my mom is. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why she's doing that. That's maybe her voicemail. Being, maybe she's being funny. Maybe. Yeah. I'm busy. You know what to do. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's starting to be, you don't even, nah. you just let it go to the automatic thing. Yeah. I don't think people even do it anymore. Yeah. yeah these are the reviews on this toilet <laughs> <laughs> seat discolors after some time in the shape of your body outline <laughs> looks like an ink stain kind of bluish gray color can't be cleaned with anything even rubbing alcohol <laughs> yeah padding almost useless i'm 160 pounds and the padding is so squished you might as well be sitting on a regular toilet seat yeah, yeah so, that was yeah. written by the dude yeah <laughs> that's his name yeah 160 uh, pounds dude. sure yeah. dude sure yeah 160 dude. pounds because it's the left right side of that <laughs> Upper body's one sixty. Yeah. That's all that's getting put on there. You know. I'm gonna look for a higher quality yeah. pad. The one like I had before it lasted years. Uh, all right. <laughs> we did it. Ow. Uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I think we're good. Uh, that was fun. Uh, so, so this September is 13th. I don't know where 13th. I'm at. I'm at Corn Ferry event, but then I've got uh, the Corn Ferry event here in uh, in Nashville, in Nashville for golf. If you're a golf fan, uh, Corn Ferry event, uh, September 13th, you're going to be this weekend. Oh, you're uh, off this weekend. I'll be off. I mean, Willing, West Virginia, Atlantic City, Baltimore, Baltimore, and then boy, I mean, we're it's a big, big tour, big, big tour. Uh, okay. Doing a lot, a lot of shows uh, this fall. And I'm uh, excited about a lot of cool places. Uh, and I hope you guys come out. It's awesome, man. 
September 23rd, I'm at the Astra Theater in Jasper, Indiana. Nice. Uh, September 30th, the Murphy Theater in Wilmington, Ohio. Um, doing that with uh, replacing Joe Zimmerman. Apparently, oh. he's on the road with you, so I'm, yeah. I'm getting to fill in for him. All right. October 1st, Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia. Oh, awesome. So, oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best I awesome. got bumped to the afternoon show at 4.30. The uh, Eagles game's at, at 1. So go to the Eagles game and then drive on over to <laughs> yeah. Helium to see me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tonight. Wait, what time was your show going to be? It was originally at the 7 o'clock show, I think. Oh. And then I got bumped, so now I'm doing 4.30. Oh, because there's a 7 o'clock show. Yeah. There's a 7 o'clock game. A 1 p.m. game. No, there was, yeah, I had this, there's 1 p.m. game. I had 7 o'clock show, but then another comic bumped me. Oh. So now I'm doing the afternoon show. I so. thought you were getting bumped for the game. <laughs> that, no. I didn't In a way, that. I am. But yeah, yeah, saying, yeah. go to the game, then come to my show. Why didn't you do a show after the 7 p.m. show? Do like a 10 p.m. show? I think what? the Bates fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I doubt. Yeah, I yeah. think we all know. I don't, that. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know how to answer that. Where um, do I start? I don't think they've seen 10 o'clock. Mm. I'm in the middle. I think they're going to like a 4.30 show, to be honest. 4.30 is I hope great. you're right. Yeah. 4.30, yeah. 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 Dinner, yeah. dinner and a show. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of a Texas <laughs> run right now. I'm down in Texas, man. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Tonight, I'm at the Addison Improv in Very Dallas, fun. Texas. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Tomorrow, I'm swinging on down to Houston, all Texas. Right. I'm at the Houston Improv. All right. Another and then club. all weekend, I'm at the San Antonio LOL Comedy Club in all San right. Antonio, Texas. I love San Antonio. If you're in Texas, come on out. It's going to be a fun weekend. That's a fun run. Thanks, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. I'm going to be in, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, some people say Spokane. Some people say Spokane. Uh, for Spokane. Spokane. Spokane yeah. maybe, I don't know who says maybe, Spokane. Maybe that's just me that says that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll be there. Spokane, 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 <laughs> Washington, all weekend uh, at the Spokane Comedy Club. Yeah, that's a great club. It's going to be great. All right. Yeah. All right. We did it. Uh, we will see you next week. Uh, as always, we love you. I hope you have a great week. And uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.